Bros. And uh, I have to say, a very well-beloved Dub Dub Knight. Ah, it's so great. Uh, Leo's sharing right now, but I'm going to give you a little run-through of the uh, itinerary for tonight. Uh, you know, we're going to be focusing a lot tonight on TV, like upcoming TV stuff, because there's so much coming out of that has recently been released, obviously, Rick and Morty, but even more, Boku no Hero, Attack on Titan, I'll leave the rest for later, but just so much on the rise coming, and apparently so much greatness coming right now, apparently The Flash and Arrow are on upswings. Uh, we're also going to cover, obviously, uh, recent released movies and upcoming movies, uh, Big focuses are, hopefully, these ones coming up in a couple weeks, Fate of the Furious, not specifically, but Guardians of the Galaxy, Spider-Man Homecoming, you know, these are all upcomings, as well as the recent releases of Beauty and the Beast and Power Rangers and Ghost in the Shell. Tons and tons and tons of stuff, guys. I'm so excited. So here for that. Yes, DH, uh, I'm so here for that, too. I read the manga, and I just re-caught up on that. It's so great. Uh... Also, we just sent your shirt, so it should be on its way. I don't know how long it's going to take, but it should be on its way now. Um, there's so much to talk about, guys. And even after that, manga. There's so much going on in manga right now that even just blows us away. We're going to have to cover that. Like, We're going to be focusing a little less on movies, probably, and a little less on comics, because as far as I know, there's no huge rises on comics this week. There's a couple things, don't get me wrong. Um, cool, thanks. Yep. Be on the lookout for it. Hopefully we got it in the right place with the address and everything. Uh, and, uh, you know... Oh, we were also going to ask for anyone who receives their prize. Yeah, I know, it's... I try to let it get ahead so I can catch up to it, honestly. But it's... I've been a while. I've been away, like, a year, probably, so I had a good... 10, 15 chapters to catch up on more, or more, um, there's so, so much going on, man, are you guys ready for more Roni Kenshin, because it's coming, apparently, uh, me and Leo had shared it in the group earlier, which hopefully if you don't know, uh, by now, we'll tell you right here, that we made a group earlier this week, uh, for our Comic Convo, so we can talk, obviously, outside of this uh, weekly live podcast discussion with me and Leo, and hopefully get ideas and get the feel of it there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready for it, too. And, uh, re really, we are so excited for that. We've already got a bunch of members, you know, almost 30, I think, and feel free to invite people that you think would be great to the club. Uh, we, we are trying to keep it, you know, very dull, and we're trying not to be mean-spirited or anything in the things I don't think anyone has yet uh, but it can get tense when you're talking about your favorite superhero we know that but keep it all calm uh, I'll try to keep my self reminded of that as I had to fact check a fool earlier <laughs> not in our conversation somewhere else in, in a very very different conversation and to be fair I myself got fact checked so there <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, it, happens. it happens sometimes you don't know shit or sometimes they hit you but then I also re rechecked check your privilege <laughs> no just kidding guys uh, but seriously like would we just like to try to keep it light because as, as serious as we get we gotta remember this is all comics and it's 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 all made up and most of it is about you know the ideals behind them and all the cool stuff behind them and so I think because it's so short we're gonna roll into movies for the start of this, uh, you know, we got DH. I don't know if, uh, unfortunately, Cy made it in. Um, if not, that's okay. Also, we're going to be posting winners for likes, comments, etc. this week, both on our page and in the group. Because, uh, once again, last week's recipients did not claim their prizes. Unfortunate. But we, uh, we do appreciate you guys coming in. And uh, we want you guys. Sometimes it gets serious. It does, DH, but you, you can't get it too serious. You got to... Keep it light. Uh, but, yeah, we, we want everyone to get their prizes. And, that, and that's important to us because, you know, we, we're we not, you know, BSing. <laughs> For lack of a better term, we're not trying to trick you and like, oh, we're not giving out prizes. No, like, we, we honestly enjoy talking with you and, like, we get some cool comic books or some nice things and if we can share them with you, then that's awesome for us. 
And if it gets us a few likes on the side, you know, that's a marketing strategy. Um, Power Rangers, guys. Leo and several other people I've talked to now, the basic consensus has been that it's pretty good. Uh, not, you know, record-breaking good or anything, but definitely a solid six or seven from my good, you know, random consensus of people. And some people even rate it higher. There was a lot of talk about how good the, the sequencing of Zordon and Reader Pulse's backstory is. And also some backlash on the Green Ranger, I believe. Uh, I think it's something about her being female, something. Yeah. Which, there's backlash everywhere, Ghost in the Shell. I, I laughed because I found a video that's like, they whitewash Ghost in the Shell, but what do Japanese people think about it? And they're interviewing random Japanese people on the street. Now, obviously, they could have picked the footage and jaded it, but it's just funny to see that. Hey, Adam, th uh, good to see you join. Sorry, I'm not totally on top of it. Oh, man, thank you for sharing, DH. We appreciate it. That, uh, that'll hopefully, uh, D for those who don't know, DH has won twice now, and he's just getting his prize, hopefully, in the mail soon. We sent him a cap shirt. Uh, other thing to remember is these shirts come from, you know, uh, I think Walmart. So, you know, they're Walmart shirts. <laughs> So expect them to shrink a little in the wash is what I'm saying. You might you might have to give it to somebody. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's pretty nice. I think it's a decent shirt. And, uh, man, it, it, it's going pretty good. Oh, man, Power Rangers better than I thought. A little more adult than the kid show. That's uh, true. They, were, they are dope shirts, though. I really like that cap shirt. I wish I had kept almost, but it was worth giving up. You deserve it, DH. He tuned in a bunch, and we appreciate it. Uh, it was very adult, but I th I think that's kind of, you know, the feel they were going for. They needed to widen the audience. Not only that, if you go back and watch the original Power Rangers series, we've talked about this several weeks in a row. You know, rose-colored glasses are beautiful. Beautiful things. <clears throat> beautiful things. Man. Don't take them off. <laughs> oh, man. Don't yeah, take them guys. off sometimes. Wasn't Power Rangers good? Did you guys see it? Did you guys I'm watch so Power jealous, Rangers? Though. I, I love Power Rangers, man. It's I so have, like, good. Maybe that's what I should do instead of being fat after this. I should go and save money. And go to Power <laughs> it's like, bam, let's go to Power Rangers, bro. Dude, we got our little buddy here as a guest today, Flash. There's Just, also a, there's a, a little, lovely little, little Bruce Batman here. Batman here because, guys, there's so much happening on TV right now. Like, even in these two series, like, dude, did you see what, what uh, the news about Gotham? I did. Oh my goodness, guys! So apparently, there's a trailer, the new trailer for the upcoming season out, and they're they're cheering Bruce on to become Batman. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, we'll check it out. Yeah, and the, the other H person said I've awesome. wanted a uh, rated R Batman for years. I or not Batman Power Rangers for years. I agree. I also wanted it to be a more you know adult thing. Adultish. I wanted yeah. to hear some feedback first. Yeah, definitely check it out. From what I've heard, DH, I'm also gonna go check it out. Uh, I wasn't waiting. I, I thought it was gonna be decent from the start. Not. Are we talking about Rangers? this? That I yeah, we talked about this. That my biggest concern about the whole movie was Alpha. Yeah, and Alpha's and that's what I've heard not is, that bad. is and even good. You said it some. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the new voice is kind of needed. To wanted fit to the hear tone. some. Yeah, yeah. You know, aside from Power Rangers, which we can get into how good that is. I'm sure the Zords were pretty amazing too, right? Oh, the locking in. Yeah, the they were. Transformers S. It took a while for them to happen, though. I kind of figured that that would be the case, though. You know what I mean? It's. It's not uncommon, you know what I mean, to see that. Speaking of Transformers, guys, ten more. They're not going to do ten full more movies, that, dude. No, the concepts are there, though, and universe. Paramount sounded really pushy They're about it. They're not like, they going to freaking do it. It's not going to happen. Without Michael Bay? It doesn't matter about Michael Bay. They're not going to watch that many Transformers. I know a bunch of people who haven't seen the last one. I barely oh, saw the, the last movies one. to see it, but I'll see it eventually. Is that real? Is that real? Yeah, it's yeah, confirmed. Actually, it's Paramount confirmed is thing. the one who announced it. They're like, yeah, uh, we have I'm ten even... more concepts drawn up for. Yeah, don't race to the don't. You don't have to race to the. I would see it in the theaters though, because it is one of those big budget. Any and this is something my cousin told me a long time ago. She's my older cousin, she, and she's funny, but she's right. Why, you know, I don't care about seeing a movie in theaters unless it has special effects. Because then it doesn't matter. I can see it at my house. Exactly. And he's right, you know, the special effects are what the theaters are Transformers so should have ones. stopped after the second one. Maybe even the first. I the first agree with good. you. The first one was the best. 
The second I, one was yeah. really good too. I actually liked the third one. The third a lot. one is good as well, but that's where I feel like it could have cut off. Yeah, stop after three. Trilogies are great. Because isn't that and where Shia LaBeouf was new... gone? He was. Uh... Was it after three? And no, then it four was, was three. Marky Mark. No, I thought three was. Three was the last. Because you got LaBeouf. trans. N- no. Because <clears throat> who is it? No, because they had someone. No, I don't know. Yeah, three is the last Shia you LaBeouf. Guys know? There's three of them with Shia LaBeouf. I did like Shia, to be fair, yeah. They said 14 more in law. I agree not all will happen. The series would start dying. I'd say I'd expect four or five. Because the thing is, they're only going to keep making them as long as they make money. Maybe they're not, not even four money. or five, man. Yeah, like, they might. I, that's my, I'm being optimistic there. Like yeah, said, yeah. You're, you're being graceful. I, I mean, I'm very They, they probably so. got about make two. this last one or two more. Two. I think two more ahead. Having said ten, they won't do just one. They'll have to do two. Yeah, because Star Wars is what head towards nine. I mean, at ten he I mean, gets with Rogue slack. One. The and thing with about the I don't animals. give Shia any slack. After, I don't know. I guess men can be raped, but it's just one of those things where I'm like, I at the I respect that, and at the same time, if she wasn't physically bigger than you, then I don't respect you. Get out of there, dude. Uh, be man, emotionally more hey, mature and get out. What if he got drug, man? You just it wasn't that happened. wasn't his story though. His story was that he got pulled into a broom closet. By some random woman, and I, just, hey man. I do respect his his I don't MC know, maybe skills. He though. Wanted that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, come on. Maybe he wanted it to happen. I thought. Shia That's why was Shia funny. gets so much flack. Look at Fast and Furious brings in millions. Also, on his eighth I movie. think the the Correct. thing that it does. I agree, but with I will say, Sai, for that, that uh, they they at least keep the concept changing, and it's changed a lot from its original concept. They talk about it. it's no longer a car movie; it's a James it's a Bond. James Bond, yeah, seriously, it's like a different action movie. Yeah, it's, it's just and it's another changed action a couple series. times, actually. Yeah, and it's say. still about cars, but it's more about, about the fighting and, and shooting. And shit. Whereas the original one was so much about race cars. oriented. Yeah, like, it was so well, even the set, and, maybe even the, yeah, to the, the sets as well. The, it started when they started going south the of the border mm-hmm. was when it was really stopped being about racing. When they went to Brazil. Yeah. When they went to Brazil, it was about that's robbing was banks, like. but then it was like crazy robbing banks instead of robbing trucks. Yeah, it's and like this is definitely changed and, in tone. Yeah. Never watched in theaters. I will say changed it's for changed the for the better because it's kept on. I will also say that what are they going to... Like this one, I'm not, not that excited to see. It, it's I like really I like not. some of the cl- the quotes, you know. Here's the beat the you like a Cherokee here, drop. Like I, I just love I these know. scenes. Like they look, they, they look, look good, exciting. They look like good movies. Yeah, they but do. But realistically, here's the other thing: after Paul Walker died, oh, they lost Sire's a huge, right. they did. They huge, lost huge amount of the steam. string. However, dangled. they might also get the kind of sympathy ride for that that people who are like exactly Paul Walker's but, dead now. But like Sai's saying these. here, bringing in the Rock was a really that is true. They dropped. They brought in new faces. And kept old faces, exactly. which is great. They change. That's how you adapt. It, that's the other thing they say. It's like it's James Bond, but it's also Ocean's Eleven. Exactly. Because that's they a great just keep, mix. They keep is. on changing. Per, you know, per every couple, the Dom twist is what's going to bring me in. I think I'm that's, hoping that's like a good explanation, thing. though. Yeah, like, that's I'm the real thing. That's that. actually my my uh, my most scary part because the rest of it exactly. can be good no matter what. Any villain if they fight with proper motivation, but now we have to get motivation for Dom. Which is either gonna probably gonna be his sister or somebody. Exactly, and it's kind of like, uh, who knows what's going to happen. Rock is actually a pretty decent actor. Yeah, he the is. only problem being his physique kind of typecasts him in a lot of cases. Yeah, he's got to be in certain Although, roles. But when you so look huge. at him in the one CIA one where they give him the body mold, he did great there, where he's doing the. Granted, that's a lot of body right. tagging, but. <laughs> I think he's always, you know, that's has been his profession. Wrestling, granted, Wrestling, that's a very yeah. physical, and not saying that they aren't actually doing those. And he got even things. bigger. I mean, when Pain oh, and yeah. Gain came out, him and Marky Mark got like stacked. they were huge in that movie. They were huge, terrible. man. I was like, damn, that movie was god awful. It was funny, but it was so bad at the it same was. time. It was, and like it's some one of those plot cringy, of it was like, come on, it couldn't even. But it was based far. on real events, right? I don't know. It, Crazy that they were just getting fucking yoked like that, though. It's just it can. It's almost crazier that how that's a common thing. Thank you to all our viewers. I yeah, don't know guys, exactly thanks. Who all is on because feel free to shoot me. any questions. Yeah, and let us know let what us you're know. looking forward to this. Yeah, week. what's what's coming up this week? Yes, yeah, what's going on in your TV land? Because guys, there's so much. This is TV time. Like TV happens oh, through spring and summer. All time is a pretty good one. Ooh, favorite. How y'all feel about Boruto? I'm still not. 
Awesome. Far enough in, like I'm, I'm like two chapters, I think. Oh, okay. So I'm all caught up on the manga. Yeah, I'm not really all caught up. I'm, ba- that's the only He's thing. I'm not like this. Naruto at all, and that's why I was like, yes, like I want another character. Like it's okay, I guess, for you to give it the, the next main is, spot to the sun, but he needs to be the exact opposite of what. Here's Naruto the thing: was. is I heard is what I heard and what I feel from the first couple of scenes of him is he's basically the Hokage's grandson. In these things, because he's like trapped under the Hokage's thing. Yeah, he is, but he doesn't want to be Hokage. Right. And it's like that's that's a that, good thing though. I, like right. I would much I rather something. Which be which like is that. the difference from Konoha Maru, but I don't know. Has the show started? TV Renaissance. The show has started, right? Yep. Yeah, the show has started. Um, yeah. It is early in the manga, which is which is what I'm a little bit of weird. I, I weird always about. so like, afraid of that because they've done they're that they're at that point and have well, been at that point in Naruto. Yep, and One Piece and Bleach. They were all at that point where it's like we don't have enough. Here's filler, filler, all and sometimes filler. filler's decent, but most of the time filler's just meh. I, I think it's because in anime they just want to want you to get to know these characters for like so well. It's like, I, know, uh, I don't need all that. But though. it's reminding me of the start of a walking Like one season. or two episodes fine, but like a season? Yeah, Legends of Tomorrow finale this week was great. It's gotten so much better. Really? I'm gonna okay, go through all these because I have these. a little bit of time. Hopefully, well, I've been working too. I've been all over my music and video stuff, guys. Sorry, my computer's been weird. Hey, man, we just you've been doing well, though. I, we've You're been doing really good. Uh, I'm so happy that I got my live music streams going, which is awesome. You guys are going to talk about the new Ooh, Archer new season? Archer, yes. Archer Noir coming yes. out. Did uh, Has anyone picked up the application that you can get for your phone? Also, the first season, the first episode was... I watched the first episode of Archer Noir and I'm meh. Mm-hmm. Then again, the whole last season I was kind of meh. I wasn't that impressed with last really? season. Really? I thought it was there okay. There were two episodes that were okay. But that's the thing. It was okay. Yeah, it wasn't it, a season it wasn't, three. It yeah. wasn't a season... Uh, season one's season, actually not super strong, but it's Season okay. two was good. Season two is pretty good. Season three is probably Perfect. one of the best seasons, yeah. And even season, season five, four or five, because we're on season seven or eight, eight, right? Eight, yeah. I want to. Is it eight? Is it I eight, swear. Seven all right. Or eight? So we got one, two, three is the pirate season. Then four is when they lose the agency, right? Mm-hmm. And then five is when they try to help us. No, wait. I, I want to say I'm on season six because it might. Oh no, because then they had the figus agency. Yeah, but that's where it started leaning off for me. Then yeah, season that's the six. Yeah. Because they had the whole one when they came back bit. to being... Yeah, it's so weird. So, so weird. Hey, Colette, thanks hey, for coming Mom. in. Also, <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in. And I wouldn't mind filler if it was better sometimes. Like I said, there's some filler that's really good. Dragon Ball Z did kind of decent They did all, all their filler except for the, the pre-Namek arc. Where it's like the fake Namek planet. You remember that two episode yeah, thing? That's yeah, the that only was... one. But it's one episode. Mm-hmm. Or two episodes, I it's think. It's two, the fake Namek yeah, it goes through pretty but smoothly. But besides that, like, everything like, else is great. The movies are great, all that. Some Where's... of the movies were a little questionable, but it's like, yeah. eh, that happens with any kind of long Well, some of the later series. movies. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Susie, good to see you again. And don't even get me started on GT. Hi, Susie, I didn't think you were going to make it. Didn't you have a concert tonight? We did see that in the Yeah, group. yeah, we saw that Maybe you had a concert. Maybe she's on her way, though. She does, you can watch this on your phone. You guys into Chewing, chewing Gum? Chewing Gum on Netflix? I, that's what I haven't I seen I haven't yet. seen. Did you guys see the April Fool's Netflix prank? Uh, the uh, live on Netflix. That. It's like it was basically watching. Gra- it was actually it was a uh, what's his name? The name of BoJack Horseman or the voice of BoJack Horseman? I don't know that guy's name. Oh, I always forget his name. But he was basically narrating random TV shows and stuff. It was it was funny. <laughs> That's awesome. It was oh, live on Netflix. Got changed. Well, welcome in. We're gl- really glad to see you. You're a regular Sorry to contributor. Hear about that season two. Thank yeah, you. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm. I want. I heard about it. and Want to check it out. There's another. There's so many shows out there that, like, for example, I still haven't checked out iZombie. And yeah, I, I haven't. Great. I haven't checked that out. I don't I've know. I haven't been good. actively interested in that. I, I. My problem is I've seen too much zombie stuff. You know what yeah, I mean? I and I was kind of burned yeah. out on it, and that's why I wasn't super interested. But I've heard it's good. From several people. It's kind of like Walking Dead is the strongest zombie thing hey, out. it's and good because we get tries. to be here with you too, Susie. Thank you so much <sighs> for the Thanks for share. coming out. And like we said, uh, for everybody uh, liking the page, but also we have the group now. If you need an yeah, invite, ask come. anyone in the comments or us. Or, or us. Or, just, can, yeah, or look ahead. up the group, Comic Convos. You can request and we all pretty much Y'all always... post all stuff like this. I mean, you know, when Ricky yeah, Morty even, reverse even, pranked even us all. Even says that iZombie is pretty good. It's a lot different from other zombie shows. 
I heard there were some interesting things. Because, like, the basic concept I heard is she eats people's brains in the mortuary and then gains their memories, and so she, like, helps do stuff with that, like, detective wow. or something stuff. So yeah, so it's a little different, I heard, and so it's pretty good. Um, moving more past, we'll try, we'll try to get through Thanks for all the comments oh, tonight, seriously, guys. guys. Like, we're seriously, we're already doing so well. Really good we're, on these we're comments. Barely, uh, we're barely a couple minutes in now. Uh, zombie. Uh oh. Adam does not like I Zombie. It's a detective show for nerds. Susie does, though. It's a detective show, huh? I didn't think it would have that kind of tone, really. Like I said, it's for the. She, like, eats the brains and gets the memories. That's awesome, and... dude. Rick and Morty blew up the internet. It was crazy. Oh, it was awesome. It was so amazing. I was on it so quick. Like, I got on it like 6.30 and it was on. And it I was just... on there and I just cl- clicked And then I, on. I tagged Leo. I'm like, Leo, did you see this? Yeah, I was all, I was all on that, man. Dude, I shared I was... it and nobody believed me. No I'm one like, was guys, believing me either. It's playing and I, right now. I'm not going to lie. Rick and I, Morty. I, I, did not, uh, I did not record it at all. <laughs> <laughs> but I did watch Ooh. it like three times. Hint, 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 hint. And it was amazing. What's it, up, Jessica? Good to see you. The ya. thing is, uh, only zombie show I watch is Z Nation. Uh, it's pretty decent. Z Nation's pretty decent too. It's a little low budget and a little Z Nation. cheesy, uh, but it's it's decent. It, it's it interesting. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I'm on season two. I didn't okay. finish was quite. It, was it good? It was all right. It's, that's the thing. It's not like great. Something to hold you up. Yeah. It's if you don't have anything to watch, check out Z Nation. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Rick and Morty's so freaking awesome, and I, like, I was so lucky I caught, like, basically right at the start almost, Mm -hmm. and, like, basically it was like, oh, man, you're not the real family, (laughs) or it's like, oh, no, it's the, the part, oh, and I guess spoilers, but you can find it anywhere, it's been, ow, spoilers, it's only been out a couple days. You can find it all over. Oh, now. Rick and Morty. Oh yeah, yeah. The first all episode. over the. That's just the guys, just search the it and it's there. It's on it's Facebook. There. It's on Facebook. Z Nation with it's its budget Facebook of nine twenty five an episode, pretty much. Hey Jessica, thanks for coming in. Thanks so for coming in. in. But yeah, Z Nation's fine. It's guys, I mean, it's got. like if you if you want to watch the new Rick and Morty episode, it's on our page. We shared it. We did share it, and I honestly, if you want, we'll probably get another one of the group from my recording. Uh... And so we're going to do, not spoilers, but more tone stuff. And I think that was the perfect, perfect. comeback episode. Perfect comeback. It had nods to the original episode. Yep. Several of them. It had a lot of the classic leads to a later joke stuff at the beginning exactly, of the episode. Exactly, yeah. It, had it, a it lot makes of... references to its early moments in the episode. And not only that, it also just, it's it, it flows so well, man. It does. It's such a Rick and Morty, it like, is. explosion. It is. It reminds me so much of the virtual reality Rick and Morty episode. Yeah, Because definitely. that one had an int- the same thing, but this one being better in the scope of it. Just the way, it, I don't know. It was such a good one. I've it only watched half really of episode good. one of Z Nation. It's all right. LL 925. 925. <laughs> Uh, I will say, like I said, that the first episode of, or any episode of Rick and Morty is maybe not for your kids. Uh, probably not at oh, all. Oh, no, for your kids. definitely they, you not. You want them to have an understanding no, of life and. and uh, uh, they don't need to see things exploding in front of their faces. Oh, even worse than that, like real. the way they treat morality the set, and life. The sketch on. What's up, Darius? Hey, thanks for coming in, man. Of the guy asking for a on sauce drive through, they said no, and he called. Where did he call? Corporate? He called them fucking Jerry's and Drive Song. Oh, wow. Flash is legit That's creepy. Just oh, okay. We'll, we'll get rid of Barry. We heard about, like, I heard about some stuff on that. Also, yeah, thank you so much, Darius, for coming in. Uh, but, yeah, the the whole thing about that, the there's a couple different things. Like, there was one where there was a either a post and then the, it might have been a fake one, but it was a thing. It's like, bring back Shazwan Sock. We're not bringing back that fucking sauce. And then there's another one that's actually on Twitter, and you can actually go see on McDonald's Twitter, which is uh, McDon- which is Rick and Morty at McDonald's. What's up, like, Jordan? What's up? Which is, do you want to get on on this? And McDonald's the, retweets yeah. at, at McNuggalub the dub dub. And yeah, I'm just like, tweet? Yeah, I, and like, McDonald's and, like, even, and someone even pointed out it. on another thing that Mul- the live action Mulan release is coming up. Coming up in 2018? 2018, actually, I yep. think. Flash, man, well, I gotta get caught up on Flash. I'll have to, I'm so, I just gotta yeah, sit down and Yeah, we just gotta it. sit down and go through these DC ones, because I'm not caught up on any of them. What's up, Me Jamie? Either. Good to and see I'm, you, man. I'm hearing great things from Susie and Cy uh, and a bunch of people that they're doing good again. Because I always fell off a lot on the middle of season three, dude. 
Yeah, like, and I, I, I didn't really, make it really that far into Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow, I got Super halfway Girl. through Ooh. Super C. I got all the way to the when they went like to the future back timeline. I don't know. It got really complicated See, with the time travel too. too. Far. I was just like, there eh. was a huge spike for me in the middle of season one of Heroes of Tomorrow that I couldn't Pretty get. Pretty much past. every Disney classic will be live action. Yep, that's where they're going to get their money. Oh, Flash yeah, I mean, back till the twenty fifth. Which so a great time to catch up. Speaking oh, of, uh, speaking of. Thanks. Hey, twenty fifth is my birthday. Awesome. Nice. I'll have to get Leo something. Leo was nice enough to uh, donate oh, me some no, man. nice things. I got to. I got to give a shout out. Leo got me a birthday <laughs> present. Thank you, Leo. Of course, Good buddy. Um, but yeah, we'll have to catch up on those. Speaking of future live action back, Disney stuff, time. though, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast was amazing, man. Did you see it? Uh, I did not see it, but I've I heard. I haven't done any of season two of Legends. Yeah, but I heard it got better. Thawne comes back. Like, a lot of stuff just, like, gets wrecked. Which is cool, apparently. because Thawne was a great enemy. Excellent if they keep enemy. writing like, him the way they wrote him. Excellent we talked villain. about him possibly being one of the best TV villains, villains ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah at He's least in recent good. memory, you know what I mean? Um, with the only even exception being higher oh, than thanks, he maybe. <laughs> Oh, there's a there's a lot of good movie villains who played their parts well. As a yeah, exactly. Movies are made that way for those very one time classical memory that taking very one spot. You know, it's like awesome because I think about him like one of the greatest performances of a villain ever, Joker by Heath Ledger. Love and Beauty overall, and the Beast. Saw it by myself. No judge. Hey, no hey, judge. No judge. Like, me, man, I go watch it by myself just to see Emma Watson. Right, she's, she's beautiful. beautiful. The villain from the OA. OMG. Wait, where was the... Purple Man, Purple too. Man. Purple Man, we did some talk about how great he is. The oh, villain Purple from Man's the amazing. OA. Yeah. Oh, okay. the guy from the OA. Yeah, did you watch the OA? OA. It's like the the one where this girl is telling these people her story of when she had been captured and she went through this whole like experimentation. I don't think I have. Oh, Maybe. man, it's awesome. It's like a super good series and like they, they're just getting kind of like, you know, they're captured and they're getting kind of tortured and stuff. Right. And, just the, the girl, that, the, the guy that plays Joker on Gotham. Oh my god! Oh yeah, Jerome. Jerome? Uh, what is that? He is probably he is awesome, dude. Here's the thing: I have in the and it's tough because Jerome gets more opportunities to play the Joker. He does, because so he's it's got a harder. Whole TV series. Yeah, so it's harder for me to compare him to Heath, who only had granted a long time, but one movie. The OA is so good. Yeah, I'll have to check that Flawless. out. Flawless is so good. I, maybe I have seen it, and I just don't remember because there's a lot of series. That it I've it seen actually is kinda... one series. The, actually, one of the only TV episodes How many that ever made me cry. The very last, se- the very last episode just made me bust out crying. Oh, eh. It's one season. Really? Right now. Okay. Yeah, oh, it's so one. okay. There's a lot of great things out that I haven't uh, checked out though. Like, there's a lot of Hulu shows that I've heard are great. For example, if facts about those. Jerome. Oh, I have. I only saw one season of Gotham. When did the Joker come? He's he comes in the like tentative, three, yeah. I think. But the thing is, they don't say he's the Joker. He, they, they don't say he is, and like, and, and it gets kind of convoluted because it's like, oh, it doesn't seem like he's quite the Joker, um, but it's like, eh, I don't yeah, know. The feels at Dave's is like, yep. I'm really nice stuck on whether I want to watch Gotham or not. It's actually I, really good. Yeah, uh, I, I you gotta invest some time. The other thing is, it's remember, good. it's not a comic book show. It's a dark. It's a it's show. a detective. Yeah, it's, it's a like a detective, detective show. show. Uh, mm, that but later it's start becomes, moving that way. Yeah, now it's moving into a dark comic book show in the similar vein as Legion. Yeah. Oh, Legion. Legion. Did you I finish? I got finished. Oh, dude, the ending. <laughs> the post credit <laughs> scene? Like, the yeah, post credit like, scene, oh dude. I'm like, that's Marvel movie shit. It is. I was like, yeah, that's definitely some comic book stuff. Oh, dude, you guys, if you haven't seen up. Legion, it's in my opinion... And awesome, like I said, it's, it's hard for me to... It's one of the best s- out right now. Oh, like, yeah, and, and maybe one of the best ever, dude, honestly. With yes, the exception of the very... S- pace. The very slow first episode and the very... S- s- the It is a very gradual slope, guys. Like, the first episode is like nothing, nothing, nothing. Bam, action. Bam, all of a sudden. And yeah. then the second episode, you're like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, a little bit guys, of action. we're at 11 viewers Hey, right thank now. you, guys. Thank we you just broke so in much for door. joining in. Uh, the Legion feel a bit left out since I only read the Legions for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, the article you, is an interesting read. Yep. Um, Wonder man. Woman. Ooh, am, that's one we're, that's coming up that we haven't talked about that oh, much. Oh, jeez. But it's going to be so great. It is. It looks like it could snap DC into the right direction. You guys should watch this show called Rostered On. It's a low-budget TV show about retail life that they release on Facebook. What did that comment say? I don't know. 
I'm not Jump caught up. Uh, I can't wait. I need to watch. Yeah, Dude, yeah, then we'll try to check them out. We try it if we had more time and didn't do so much craziness. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to definitely take y'all stuff into consideration, though, and get to try it, definitely. But uh, there's so many great shows coming out, guys, like TV, and that's specifically why we're having so much trouble is because so much great TV show comes out, and that's so much content as opposed to an hour and a half movie. Don't get me wrong, but an hour and a half movie doesn't compare to 20 episodes or even 13 episodes of a show. My little brother was just watching Daredevil today. Oh, He's gotten all the way through season, season one and started binging. Amazing. Dude, and I was something like, you're so lucky. He's like, why? I was like, you just finished season one in one go and you get to binge straight into season two, which is a great straight binge, by the way, to go directly from season one into season two is almost and season two was just amazing. I just, yeah. I'm just here waiting for Defenders. Exactly. Dude, did you see Elevator the Defenders scene. and the website? And the website. And the website. Yep. And the website that's Guardians up. of the Galaxy 2 is less than a month away. Well, less than it? a month away. I can't Because it, it's 5-5, it's, it's it's five, five, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 5-5. Five, five. Uh, TV Renaissance again. Yeah, definitely. Uh, comic Book Man, I do, but I'm not caught up, Susie. I'm like a season behind, probably. Like, the last thing I remember is Muse and them going to the Renaissance Fair, if that makes any sense. And it's mostly because I can't find it. Like, it was all on, like, Netflix or Hulu and I was watching it, but now I can't find it anywhere because it's on AMC and they don't like to... Oh, I want to... Oh. Uh, but definitely, definitely enjoying it so far. It's been so great. So ready, right? Ah, we're all so ready. Uh-oh. I know. I have no idea. <laughs> it's, uh... I'm so ready, yeah. It's so ready, Jordan. It agreed. It's just going to be such great stuff. Like, what... All right, so here's the thing of upcoming Netflix series. What? Binge-watched and quizzily the day I finished it. Oh, man, that, that some of the comments <laughs> are too long. The teaser for the Defenders. Dude, you're going to have to get those comments up. We're already at Yeah, I can't uh, get online. Oh, jeez, uh-oh. Here. Oh, I mean, that's fine if not. No it's powers fine. or something other. Because I can just pull up the doc there, too. And then we can do comments up there. Yeah, I'll just pull the doc there. Yeah, I got you. Uh, no powers or something or other? A any, anything, honestly. Because, honestly, the Netflix series coming out, they've been great. Who saw the D the Chappelle news specials? Mm, oh, my yes. gosh. The Chappelle specials The whole Bill Cosby amazing. section. Oh, my gosh, Oh, yes. that was so messed up, though. It was, but it was funny, dude. I don't care. That was so funny. It's one of those, it was one of those greater evil arguments, and I'm just like, oh, man. Punisher, guys. Who's ready for Punisher? No one share the stream. It's too much already. Punisher, 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 no, Punisher. Keep sharing the stream. It's it's something else. It's because I'm using the phone and haven't connected with the Wi-Fi before. So. so great. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's really good. Like, that teaser for the, the Defenders. Defenders. Yeah, yes. where she Jessica Jones. I actually like Jessica Jones more in that trailer than I did in almost the, the almost entire, entire, entire the Jessica Jones, Jones series. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know? How did I know that uh, like, that nah, comedy series is I'm good. waiting to see Aquaman riding the Batmobile. Yeah, Mobile. and yeah. like I said, Justice League is looking great. Looking great. I want them to so be is amazing. Wonder Woman. Like I told him, I want that to be their piece de resistance to launch off their mu uh, no tech. Are we having technical are difficulties? Are we having technical? Are you guys having issues with the stream? It might be because I signed on the Wi-Fi. Let me get off. Hmm. Let me make sure I'm not on the Wi-Fi. That way we have the comments here. Yeah, guys, did something happen with the... Did something happen with the stream? I forgot that the Punisher is happening. I can't wait. Oh, especially John... Uh, I always mess up his name. Bernathal? Berthanol? Berthanol. Berthanol? Yeah. I always mess up his name. Uh, but the guy from Walking Dead, who is obviously uh, Shane... I want it to be so great. He is an amazing Punisher. Okay, he it's is. good. It was just because I was oh, trying to do great. that. Uh, he did that. Has any, if anyone hasn't seen it, go check out his Kill Count video on YouTube. It is so awesome. good, dude. Holy I checked it out. It's geez. amazing. Something almost like, and they talk oh, about boy. it if you count, that even in the comments they talk about it, if you count in the suggested kills uh -huh. in the series, he's even higher. Like, they right. didn't count any of the bodies from his, the initial murder trial that he's charged with, like, killing the dudes no. on the freeway. Yeah, they didn't. Oh, man. Good for you guys. 
he is an amazing he, Punisher. He just and he played his he role so well as like the damaged. heavy metalers, and he's just like because like, he has that psycho. Um, yeah, that he has that full on psycho feel, and then also when he's doing his that because like the best scene in Daredevil season two is probably that scene of yeah. him talking about his child, child and his shoot. the formation story. It's crazy. He it it's awesome, and I can't wait for them to to do his series. I've heard they've already cast it. Speaking of upcoming stuff uh, that I want to see, uh, have you seen that some of the fan made? I don't know if it was Family or Marvel released the a little thing for Black Panther where it was him in front of the rock and it's yeah. Hail the King or All yep. Hail the King. Mm-hmm. And people just don't understand how that's awesome. amazing. So that is so is. Uh, I just wonder how they're going to Captain gonna... Marvel. Yeah, Captain Marvel. My thing about both of these movies is especially because of the level and the 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 specialty of these characters, with very minor exceptions of. This and that, like, how are people going to relate to such a powerful king-like, king-like character, and then such a powerful like character as, as something Captain is going to happen? Like, something's going to have to happen to them. They brought in all of the best from each series for Defenders. Took them five months to do eight episodes. Dang, Dang. that's yeah, and it's coming out. Let's August see 18th. how it goes. Here's the thing: we're hoping that it's this puzzle that fits together really well, and then leads directly either into Punisher. Which in my which, which, is, I, which I almost want to see. I'm thinking he's roped into that universe. Actually. I think he's he in the universe, I mean, but I don't think he's gonna. And here's the thing: what would be great is to make it just like the comic universe. I can't wait either side uh, to be just like the comic universe and saying that they appear in each other's stories without having to be involved in each other's plots. Exactly. You know what I mean? You can have a two episodes where oh, the Punisher is also fighting the hand this episode. Why he just happens to be fighting be the fighting hand. Fighting the hand. And I, oh, yeah. Since, since 8 in June. Oh, I heard that. Yes. Yeah. Since 8 is check amazing. It out. So like I said, there's there's so many different series that, you know, one or one. That's why it's great that guys, me and him get to do this. Would you guys ever want them to defend no, 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 not keep really. Keep the street level to the street and keep Here's the, the thing. The, in the a one-time Avengers crossover, level. maybe? Maybe once. Or like in Doctor a lead Strange. Up, or in a lead-up, maybe? Or even in the, the typical kind of... Like I said, the drop in. Yeah, would it like be cool to see Chris casual. Hemsworth in for like one episode doing one thing one as thing, Thor? Yeah. Literally one scene at the end. And uh, he's on Thor. Uh, uh, it's gonna be great. Yeah, apparently. and there's nothing. Our, not, there's lately, there's but nothing new. The last news we got amazing. was from Mark Ruffalo describing the Hulk, the Hulk in as there. being yeah. a different kind of character. He's mm-hmm. actually got a swagger. He says in this one, and yeah. he's almost godlike. OMG, I just Which said that. kind of sounds nice. like Planet Hulk. I don't, maybe a mention or watching on TV or something. Hearing, Hearing about it on, on the news. news. Uh, that, yeah, like you said, the crossover for the Avengers stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, the, I like that too, where they mention the green the green man or the incident. Yeah, the incident, yeah. And I want them to do that, that in the movies awesome. now. Now Try I want them to on. mention, yeah. now I want uh, Tony Stark to mention... The blind guy in Hell's Kitchen, yeah, or not the blind like, guy, but the 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 crazy devil in Hell's Kitchen, or the guy who dressed, you know, just something yeah, like just that. Yeah, just something like that. Where where we're getting enough involvement, where we can have it. Just like references, you know what I mean? Like even in the early days, like I can't remember if it was Fantastic Agents Four. Agents of Shield or did or that Agents too. Shield. They was have they have more references in. than anyone. That's why you should check out Agents of Shield more than anything, is they have more character well, references. Doesn't like than that anybody. last doesn't the last episode of a season in, end up becoming. The next Avengers movie or something like that, like Some it leads them, into one it or something. Or one something. of the episodes, or it leads right out. It. They also are very heavily connected with the Defenders because it's the same rights. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, they also, they also confirm that Dee Dee is the is. only one in Defenders to wear costumes. So no, here's the thing though. Then they show him in the the elevator looking more like the Iron Fist than Iron Fist. Right. I was There's like, there's a whole meme about it, only. and then I'm like, what? no, that's Matt. That's, that's Danny Rand. And here's the thing: he has dressed like that before in some comics with the super long. Tie on as Daredevil, but we just expected that to be Iron Fist. Right, that's, that's his, his classic. classic. Uh, and it's all right. Not to, here's the thing: we needed to see a good adaption of Danny Suit. Have you seen Danny Suit? It looks like a seventies go go. Right, suit. it's like stretched Very much out green like, suit. We might not need the suit, but maybe a loose interpretation well, like Luke Cage. Actually, in Power Man and Iron Fist, come, he's like in a track suit now. He's I like know he's like now he's in a track, track suit. which is funny because he was running around basically in <laughs> doggy <laughs> pants and stuff. Uh, did you guys hear they are talking about another blade? I'd love to hear wow. another blade. And I like yeah. Wesley Snipes' blade love Wesley still. Wesley Snipes. I uh, didn't like that they're going to introduce the Inhumans in Aegis of S.H.I.E.L.D. I, I actually do. Because yeah, I think... Me too. Here's the thing. People are on their own who are excited about Inhumans aren't going to not 
maybe not. Well, maybe yes, they are. Jose, Inhumans. Like, they awesome. shouldn't lose interest just because the Inhumans show up here. They should be focused on how the Inhumans are going to do their own series. Yeah, that, that's and their own series. But on the positive side, it will do this for. Looks like season. something you see on a Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it it does. But on the positive side of that, opposed. Uh, Showing it to the Agents of the Shield fans will pull in Agents of the Shield fans mm-hmm. who are interested for that story and Daisy's story. Exactly, exactly, dude. Um, and dude, I'd love to see a Scooby Doo show stuff where like Batman shows up for an episode. Right, you know I, I mean, mean like the so Hanna Barbara stuff where they would easily so, appear. I'd, in I'd each love other the stuff. human stuff, guys. Uh, just talk to me. Here, I'm gonna be, show. It'll spoilers. be better on TV than a movie. I gotta, I gotta show spoilers because of the Inhuman talk. Because I Damn. just picked them up. Picked up some new comics. Inhuman versus X Men. These aren't the prizes tonight, guys. I'm sorry. We have some. We'll other show prizes. you the prizes. But these, I just picked up a zero, two, three, and a three variant cover for X Men versus Inhumans. Yes, a slightly salty about Marvel is kind of abandoning mutants for them. I agree. They're trying to make a resurgence in mutants, though, which they're doing with the new X Men Blue and X Men Prime and X Men etc. Uh, they should be making a comeback with the new Wolverine character, which people think now is going to be the ultimate Wolverine's son, uh, Jimmy Jim- Howlett. Yeah, Jimmy. Which is what they're thinking instead of awesome, Dawkins. Slightly say. jelly right now. Do we have the comments there still or no? Because that was good. Yeah, there we go. Because I, ha- I have the uh, document here if we need it. Slightly jelly right now. Oh, yeah. I- yeah. I, I yeah, got a, a good, good pickup. I, I paid for stat. it, though. I mean, I didn't get them all on a cheap or anything. But here, guys, this week... Now, not... now salty about them not being there. Oh. I knew I shouldn't have sold them. Here's, here's the thing. We got something nice for you. So we've actually got this uh, a series by an independent comic publisher. Um, his name is Michael Terrence. He sent me these to review, and they're, it was a really good series. Um... Just like a really cool series about a superhero getting superpowers. Uh, but the craziest thing is like the, there's two stories that are going on in one in this book. Like simultaneously there's two stories. Like it's like there's this alien sentient planet. And along with that there's like this dude who's like still a child. Like he's still an infant and like what his dad is trying to go through just to get to him. And I think it's going to lead to this epic clash which is going to make him a superhero with these powers from this <laughs> other planet. That's great. It's really well, cool. Jose, yes, I, uh, there are prizes yeah. for each cast. Every we try to give out some prizes. We'll give out some prizes. We're actually going to have to give out these and the ones from last week. Yeah. We although have, we although have we're switching our week. system from this week because of the often how often people are not picking up their prizes. What's it called? Oh, True Man of Honor Provenance. That's what it's called. Uh, yep. It's, it's got this TMH on here because it's by the, the company's called TMH, but it's True Man of Honor. And then Providence, and which is actually right up here on the Providence top. Providence is right up here on the um, top, and it's by Michael Terrence. Uh, cool yes, Jose, come talk to these hits and then stay for the prizes. Yep. But What's definitely, and for me, I, 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 de- I definitely, he sent me a preview digitally of that, and I was it looked pretty interesting. I've only gotten about halfway through because I was speed reading, but... These streams are my new favorite. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Check Keep out us back. and other people. Obviously, a lot of people do Who wins? These. Quicksilver or Spider-Man? Tough, but... Spidey. I, I can kind of give it to Spidey because his reflexes are fast are enough... Really fast. ...to deal with Quicksilver. Also, mm-hmm. Spider-Man can theoretically web up... Web him. Yeah, yeah web up an, and just an entire area, honestly, to make him a little less Quicksilver, sexual. Quicksilver, unfortunately, is not the strongest. No, he's features. often showed as less powerful than he should be, Even theoretically. Scarlet Witch is much most more Most powerful. speedsters... Most speedsters are... Show, well, Scarlet Witch is insanely powerful. Yeah, I mean, seriously, uh, but, like, but the thing Wayne, about... I really like... Spider-Man. Sp- I really like Spider-Man. I also really like Quicksilver, despite him being a giant dick in the comic books. He's, like, a very specific character that I can kind of agree with because he has to protect his sister. Yeah, I get that. But he's often shown as really less powerful than Speedster should be, just like the Flash, although he really is less powerful than the Flash, obviously. Yeah, he is. But being able to break the sound barrier and function at that speed is a really impressive thing when you think about it. Man, did you see Flash's uh, special? Yeah, the time special. time special on the new one coming in just... That's such a good depiction of his powers, too. What's up, Julian? Good to see you, man. Yeah, he just, like, grabs the enemy, runs through time. I want to see him... I want to see X-Men Quicksilver again, too, Cy. Yeah. X Men Quicksilver is the best uh, Quicksilver, he was awesome. and the best depiction of a speedster in any movie so yep. far. Any movie, good points. Yeah, it, like thank you. He's like slow, like that scene with him slowing down, where it slows down and he just grabs everyone for the bullets, like, even perfect. the explosion scene, the explosion. Yeah, uh, from the bullets to that's, that's the best part of that. Explosion. Probably 
The apocalypse. Because the bullet scene is from uh, Days of Future Past, right? Which, goes, is which is awesome, too. He's yeah. just literally just like... Which is like, this is and what I want to see with a speedster, though. dreams are made of right? peace. Oh, yeah. That's as much as we can do without having pain. <laughs> <laughs> right? We don't no, get sued. <laughs> we can't get sued here. But no, I mean, they're so, so great uh, speedsters, and they aren't depicted as very powerful. They're often depicted as foolish. And Thoughts on Justice League? Oh, uh, it should be coming be great. Amazing. I really want it to be great, Andrew. I really do. Uh-oh. One of my favorite ever scenes, and probably the best scene in that movie, let's be honest. Except maybe the opening scene of the scene of Apocalypse. Scene is one of my favorite ever scenes. It's such a great scene. Watching powerful. him, put, like, throw people out and yep. then, like, put a bed there, you know what I mean? He's like, like, oh, boop, dude, boop, that's boop. how a speed this should yeah, be. Yeah, and it's like, he's moving quick. But you so. gotta imagine how much that CGI cost. Oh, yeah. That was lot. probably a big a chunk of the but whole movie. They made movie. it back. Oh, they did. Which Quicksilver, though? X-Men. Avengers, X-Men. X-Men. By far, Avengers got, he got killed by bullets. The uh, same dude. The only thing they got went through way more bullets and just here's saved the thing, everyone. Here's the problem, though, and here's the one thing. And this is why I hate it because the depiction of a speedster of Quicksilver in X Men is the best, but the actual factual depiction of Quicksilver is better on the Avengers side. It is the kind yeah, of dickish, the, all yeah, it's, like it's more accurate. For it's sure. a more accurate, and even the the accents. Uh, but I like the X-Men one because of him being the more laid-back kid version, which probably is because he reminds me a little bit of Flash. I mean, he does. Like, that's very Flash. Like, every version of Quicksilver ever depicted is basically an asshole. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, there was an alternate ending where he survived. What? Oh, yeah, and I wonder if he actually is alive. The kitchen like, scene, that was God-level art. Oh, man. Wasn't it? It really it was. was so it's like that was such a good scene, and then they have the next movie with another scene like that. Yeah. Like, um, wow, they need to keep on with Quicksilver. He's a character that just can't go away at this point. Yeah. Like, they, they need him, him in, and they gotta reincorporate him back into Avengers, guys, and give him a little. Now nah, I don't know. Maybe not. I anymore, think he might actually pop up. In I think they are Infinity in Infinity Wars. War because they. What else are they gonna do? I don't know, man. It's I'm, I'm almost dreading Infinity Wars because they have to go big or go home. They do, and like, it's gonna be every character. It, yeah, and that's the thing. Like, how do you Guardians of the Galaxy? It, that's a here's whole the thing, team. though. They did a really good job in Civil War. Really, like I thought it was With gonna be we're gonna jam pack all these characters into a movie and just make a fight. And don't get me wrong, it was a little bit like that at times. It's focused on the poster boys. Well, just Cap, Iron Man. And their experience. But even this, like, think of how well they introduced Black Panther. Think of yep. how well they Very introduced well. Spider Man. Uh, they have made it official on who the main villain is going to be in Justice League Dark Side or one of his underlings. We no, have to it's assume. It's actually going to be, um, what's his face? Uh, Steppenwolf. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah they talk about it. It is going to be Steppenwolf, and they have the actor confirmed, too. Which so is so weird because it looks like they're using Parademons. Morty in the comics, are they good? Rick and uh, Morty comics or just Rick I haven't and Morty. checked out the Rick and Morty comics yet. I was trying to buy some in my high really? they're sold out. You're so- wow. We'll have that to go to the big season, one. Man. Dude, I told him too, it's like I knew when I came in they weren't gonna be He's any. Not a fan of Winter Soldier. I thought it was fine. I liked Winter Soldier. I would say I- it wasn't the best. Those ones Here's were the thing, what is he gonna depict? Point. Right. What is he gonna he's a soul he was a soulless assassin or soulless assassin for eighty years in cryo sleep brainwash. What is he gonna like? He's supposed to I be a nondescript War, character. And, Civil War was great. Like, not to say that he was What's a good character. I'm just saying, like, he's it? just not in general a good character. You know what I mean? It's already for Black Panther. Yeah. Oh God, I'm so it's ready. gonna be an epic. It movie. could have been so much better, but not without going into the past of uh, the of Quicks. Uh, I, there's so much you I have thought to do. Thanos yeah Thanos is Avengers Thanos is Infinity. Avengers not Justice League Justice League is uh, Steppenwolf Steppenwolf but he still looks like he has parademons he does those are, so those are still parademons yep then. Okay. there's parademons with him so alright we'll see how they'll explain that later yeah I'm Civil War was it. clean like, that Civil was War was amazing. a really good movie I can go watch it right now and yeah, and a, and now will I say it was the most amazing no probably Age of Ultron might have been a little bit better because it wasn't so focused on but at the same yeah, time, civil war here. Yeah, like, like I said, I can Age quote you by, like the thing about those movies and most all the Avengers movies and most of the Cat movies is they they're they're directed in a very what I would say Joss Whedon style of what makes a good movie comedy tragedy. But this was Action. the Russo brothers, man. This one was, but that's what I'm saying is they're directed in that very same style. Same style. And this one being a little different and why it's a little more interesting and why I would see even less. 
crowd yeah, pleasing. We're talking about Civil War. Guys. Civil War. That's and why brothers. this one is less crowd pleasing is because it's darker and it has to lead them to a darker, to a darker place. direction. Right. I which mean, is Captain less, America which is, is just less feel good. With people the like, system. yeah. And like that's the thing. People like feel good movies. They yeah. do. Like I, that's just the way it is. <laughs> I kind of want to go watch it now as well. I know like, it's. Right? Just, I know. <laughs> we had streaming rights. We would just stream it after the episode. We are actually watch. talking about doing trailers and stuff. Yeah, we uh, are going to start doing trailers. Uh, we'll, we'll, we're figuring out when we come here. We'll do projections, and then at the other location, we'll do s- direct stream screaming. Mm-hmm. Depending, we would be there tonight, but we're just being safe. I've had some issues earlier today, and we didn't want anything. Well, to happen that's nothing wrong case. with switching scenes, oh, yeah. up, guys. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. Change the nice. settings. I didn't want to go watch that. Yeah, I mean, Civil War is one of those you can just keep on going back to. I can keep going back to Age of Ultron. Pretty much any of the, the stack, Doctor Strange. Um, and having said that, I can Suicide do Dark Squad. Knights. Uh, yeah, Suicide Squad. Yeah. Yeah. Dark Knight trilogy, though. I can probably watch any oh, of those absolutely. at any time. They're great Anytime. movies. They're just good movies. Pull you know what I mean? It's freaking great. Um, Here we go. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to talk about a couple rises. more series that are a little outside of our usual realm because we've discussed most of the things. Uh, in that we're gonna go into the anime realm a little bit here because the anime realm has a lot huge, coming up, guys. Huge, huge this week, guys. The anime realm has quite a few things going on. All the Marvel movies have been good, yeah. Well, all the Mar- MCU movies have been good. Yeah, you know some of the Hulk. Couple were of the X Men ones are questionable. The second Punisher was a the bit. The third Raimi Spider Man was yeah, terrible. Yeah, uh, even even the second Amazing Spider Man wasn't. Yeah, amazing up to par and no. all it wasn't like an Avengers movie no nope. they were good I like them and I love Spider-Man like I said it's like but there's the thing at the end of the day I'm always gonna say Silver Surfer be Spider-Man man it's the way it is Ooh, whatever man yeah, cosmic they, Spider-Man Silver, dude they need to get on that what is Fantastic Four doing both franchises are terrible uh, Spidey guys. in the Civil War trailer is great to watch yeah uh, that I love is, Spidey oh yeah the compilation of the reactions to Spidey good point oh, MCU no, does it right DC, the thing is, the DCU looks like they're headed in the right direction with Justice League. Yeah. That, it Suicide looks like that's Squad was a stepping up point. It, like I said, I some people like Batman versus Superman, but personally, like I said, I felt like if you cut out 40 minutes six, in the movie, it would have been better. Exactly. Cut out and, 40 and minutes in the movie. Let's have some more encounters between Batman well, and Well, of course, Superman. Surfer beats Superman. Spider-Man. <laughs> well, he oh. technically can. He yeah, could drain all true. of the reds, all of the... Uh, the sun radiation from Superman's body and leave him powerless. Well, he said Spider Man, but oh, yeah. Oh, Spider Man. Uh, Boruto. Old school 80s. Yes. Yeah. Boruto, though, guys. Boruto came Her- out. Her- oh, my God. It was so good. Like, it, it touches a little bit into the future. So, you know, there, uh, there's a little bit. I mean, the hype bit. died, but I think it's because they didn't overhype it. Yeah. And I it's... think that's fine because if, here's the thing. The hype doesn't need to be the hype, Jay. It's not out yet. Yeah, we need to be it's hyped. It's not coming out until November. Yeah, we, in another two months, maybe get us a little more hyped. But right now, it, w- it would be like if right now Avengers kinda... Affinity Wars started releasing trailers, even though we know they're so far away. It, we started seeing some foot recording. You know, I know, but that's set. different. That's yeah, different. which is nice. It was a they should have spread it out longer, a little bit. I think they got more coming. Is the thing, Sai. I'm hella ready for Attack, Attack on Titan. Titan. That's what we were getting into with the anime. Attack on Titan Season 2, guys. Episode it's gonna be one, crazy. Season 2. That Van Super was ruined by the hype. I don't even think it was the hype. It was the length. They were just teasing us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They'll drop another trailer. Yeah, they'll yeah, do they another one. Closer to Probably them. even two for the Net Justice League. Right. I guarantee you, they'll get another one. just dropping trailers everywhere. Like nobody's Spider Man went too ham. We talked about that. Yeah, Spider Man's last trailer too was too far. much. And, the, and it's not even the Robert Downey Jr. People were like, oh, you got, you know, how much Robert Downey Jr. It was Robert some Downey of the Jr. involvement that they showed him in. It was like not some even, of the scenes where... Not even that. Like, not even just... That's how that. much plot like, line plot. is in there. Yeah, how, much, how much How much of the story... So how many great scenes did they put in there, but how many do they have left? Dinosaur Titan this season. Um, I don't know. No, I don't think no, a Dinosaur so, Titan this one, based... This one. You might get the Beast Titan in season three, but the based on how f- slow they're going... I don't know. They barely figured out that Connie's a Titan in the yeah. last series, and it's like, come on, it's one in May and one in September. Yeah, probably, mm-hmm. give or take. Maybe, maybe even October. But guys, nine more seasons. Nine more seasons of Comic Con votes. If we have to get this to schedule on sauce. The oh century, the century is my season arc. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Rick and Morty, Rick guys. And Morty, guys. Uh, it was oh so awesome. Is... JL Flash cameo in Power Rangers. Yeah, that yeah, was funny. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I, uh, uh, 
I think you mean the Power Rangers Vader's cameo. Vader's in too. In yeah, show. Vader's yeah, in. Yeah, the movie. They're coming out with the movie, mm-hmm. right? Awesome. Uh, no, I thought it was a new season. Is it? Is it I thought it was or? a movie. Maybe it's Might a season. Be a movie. I thought it was a movie. Maybe it's a season. Who am I thinking of a movie then? Who's getting a movie? Maybe it's somebody else. Berserk's already on its current new season, but uh, who else was getting a new season? Rony Kenshin. Hmm? Rony, Rony Kenshin, Kenshin is getting a new manga arc. Manga season, I cannot. but still. Wait, uh, dude. I can't wait to read Oh my goodness, I've read guys. all the manga for Rony Kenshin, yeah, so I'm definitely. already amazed. All I even up. raised I even What's read up, Steven? Good to see you, man. Hey, thanks for coming, man. And yeah, so it's, New Rony Kenshin, though, it looks amazing. Like, it sounds like it's going to be awesome, and I'm oh, ready yeah. for a Rony Kenshin comeback. Like, that was a good enough break, I thought. I mean, like, he years, took a couple yeah. years off. Honestly, what, it's five, a re- six? Shoot, like, well, maybe more than that, man. It might have been ten years. Ten. ten it's wow. a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. Hey, you guys. I unfortunately, I have to go. I'll definitely keep an eye out for your streams. Yep, yeah, keep, keep an eye out. Back. And if you have liked the page, keep an eye out for winning the prize tonight, and you'll get a free comic. Yeah. Definitely. Flash and Arrow need a movie together. I agree. They might need to put Super Women in and out now that they've crossed over that much, though. Oh, like Supergirl? Yeah. Just because she's well part of the movie. In, and yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just another level to add. Because the thing is, I think that The Flash and Arrow are good together, but they do better with the balance of Supergirl. I'm kind of glad. I need some Gotham anime to watch. I've never found any I like besides Attack on Titan. Have you seen My Hero Academy? Academia. Yeah, Academia. Uh, I can uh, never that's remember. That's a good one. It's a really it's a good one. Really good. I can, it's basically I mean, an I can anime tell about superheroes. Like, one Punch Man's pretty decent. And one Punch Man's uh, amazing. Uh, Assassination's Classroom was a good one. That was pretty good. Um, Psychopaths. Wonderful anime. Soken no Soma, which is... Yes. I'm forgetting. Super Cooking. good. Cooking. Um, Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online is pretty decent. Uh, you've got... Uh, Tariko is not bad. I don't know if you can find it in English anywhere, though. Yeah. That's the other thing. is A lot of the best anime is in sub form instead of in dub form. Mm-hmm. Uh, even Dragon Ball Super is not that bad. There's parts, man. There's parts. <sighs> I got, the I filler like the in dub. Dragon Ball <laughs> Super is... I like the dub of Dragon Ball Super. That freaking sub, man. That Goku's voice is just... Here's I'll the tolerate. thing. Mob Psycho is another Oh, yeah, that's one. a good one. Yeah. Uh, I've yeah. watched Supergirl when it was necessary for crossover episodes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's not that great in the first season, but I'd like the I heard character. the second was great. Uh, yeah, Sai keeps telling us it's amazing. we got to check it out. I heard the second season of Supergirl is great. Yep. And se- second season of Legends of Tomorrow. Yep. Great. New season of Flash is good. Here well, I heard the last half. about Arrow. I heard that Arrow's on an upturn, though. Really? I've, that's what I've been hearing the last couple episodes. Yeah, you're right. The, the last few have been okay. Like, maybe not the last season. Same for Flash. Maybe not the last whole season, but yeah. thank you for the like, guys. Thank you. Um, and honestly, we're, you know, let, we should ask these guys, you know, what... Ana- oh, that was... Yeah, we said Boku no Hero Academy is actually the next one, so My Hero Academia uh, is the next one that's getting its new season coming out soon. They actually had one out. Arrow's man. Yeah, Supergirl and Legends is set. It's you might. It's gonna be tough to stomach through that first season, though, man. Get you're gonna have to grind it out. Yeah, you gotta just kind of yeah. grind through. Some season, some shows are like that, where you got to the second amazing second season, but you gotta grind out a kind of mediocre first season. Yeah, it's um, real mediocre. Yeah, bordering on not great. Uh, but my hero, no, my hero Academia, the new episode, trolled us on April Fools. They gave us a preview on Crunchyroll, and it was a review episode. Mm, I saw the whole episode. I did too. It's a fucking review episode of the first season. No, it's not. It was on the, at least on April first. It was. Oh, though. on April first. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Go back and watch it, bro. It's the full episode's there. Okay. Yeah. Because I was they, like, they, they, they just did a whole there, fucking like, thing. Dishes. So that was one of the April Fool's jokes. I was like, and the, I didn't even watch the whole thing. I literally skipped through the whole video to see. I was like, no, like, hold that's on. a review. Do 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 do. Yes, Boku no I could. Yeah. yeah. Such and uh, the one. comics the even episode. still going in great. Ooh, the the thing is, I love the pacing of the anime because they've made it so it's not so far that it's going to catch up. They have two more arcs to catch up to the, the manga. manga. And the manga's and going strong right now. Super um, Lost with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I stopped like season four. The thing is, S.H.I.E.L.D. is an on and off thing where you kind of got in and out. Oh, that's right. That was season four. It was Hydra season. I forgot about that season. They didn't even make it there, guys. I just don't like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm not convinced. I, I, I love it, man. It's got a great... Here's the thing. It's not a great show and it's in, in the watching, but it's a great show to watch in a binge. Like, all right, one after another, much better chop, than waiting chop, every chop, week. Just like, boop. boop yep, right through. Hmm, not great choppy. Uh, and even then, it's not like it's amazing, like it's not as good as The Flash, or maybe even... It's probably on the level of, like... like depend- here's the thing... <laughs> 
that the reason you go is for certain episodes with certain characters. Yeah, I love how they set up that anime. A lot of the best, lot of the best action ones always have. Huge hiatuses that hurt the soul. Yeah, yeah but do they have real. to, though? There's no... They there's gotta no, uh, animate it. <laughs> there's yeah, no way that you a, can. In a binge. Yeah, Attack on Titan. Whew. Wow, that took forever. The thing is, and it's the same problem, was that when they released the original one, they still weren't really that far, and they still really aren't that far on this new one. Honestly, they're, they're still... They're two arcs ahead now. Now, now. they're two arcs ahead. Right. You know what I mean? Barely, and honestly not that great. Uh, good thing about CW shows is they go straight to Netflix a week after finale. That's true. true, but the problem being before that is I have 20 weeks of waiting until they get on. Right. And Hulu, bigger problem uh, is Hulu doesn't get them up fast enough a lot of the time. Like, I'm always waiting. And then Hulu and just finally got Legion. The last episode up? Yeah. Jeez, we talked about it like until the Thursday they don't even get it up. But yeah, the good good shows to binge. Uh, Agents of Shield, like I said, is also an off and on thing. All the Marvel Netflix series are amazing shows to binge through, <laughs> except for maybe Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is just a hard one. You're gonna have to, You're swallow, gonna have to swallow, swallow swallow three episodes of like crap. Three? I mean, I'm being generous again. Yeah, yeah. Right. We have a lot of people in here who like it. I cried for his attack of. Uh, it's pretty harsh. Here's the thing: if you like that dark stuff, go check out Berserk. Oh, Go check yeah, out uh, is my amazing. What's it? Deadland Wo Dead Deadland Dead Wonderland Dead is Dead amazing. Deadland Wonderland, yeah, that's right. Deadland that's right. Wonderland. Yeah. Basically, the main character in Deadland Wonderland is in. Uh, is on death row, guys, and like they're just going through all these competitions to stay alive. There's another so one. Here's one. the thing: a lot <laughs> of those are best in their uh, in their manga forms. So like, there's a new one called Real Account that's great, mm -hmm. and it's like they pull in a bunch of people on like a Facebook app, and then they have to murder each other. Basically, or like yeah, they have to do this. Thing. Hunter x Hunter is also great. Ooh. The new one, especially, they did yes. a new series. Uh, Fairy Tale is pretty good, but it's very One Piece like. If you don't like One Piece, it's kind of humorous. And it's a little bit in between, time. though. Yeah. It's not as much as One Piece. If you, one Piece is hard to get through at first because it's very childlike, and then very much like Harry Potter, it gets more adult as time goes on. Exactly. It doesn't have to iron on TV for a week. Ah, oh, on on the next day. Otherwise, spoilers ruin it. Oh man. I, I can see that. Mm -hmm. We get that a little bit here for some stuff. Luckily, we're in the middle, though. With all these... Man, we're doing so great tonight, by the way, guys. We're already probably you know doing so much. So uh, great. Take a second to remind you about the uh, prizes tonight, which is, once again, the independent comic. True Man of Honor. Um, it's an independent comic book by an independent artist, actually. His name is Michael Terrence. It's just about a superhero discovering his superpowers, but there's simultaneous stories going on between an alien race and the hero's father, and I think they kind of collide to make this, like, super cool superhuman being. Like, it's really dope. Let's see. If you ever watch Agent Carter, I suggest it so, so much. It was so good. It was so good. Wait. So good for a one season show, yeah. And it sucks that it uh actually got canceled. Like that shouldn't even happen with Agent Carter. Like, yeah, like, I've, heard, I've heard a the lot. Things were great amazing things. on that. I've like, heard a lot of great things about it. But the reputation know, was yeah. great. If you never watch it, you go. Yeah, I I want to go do it now. I've I've watched a lot of it. I have to finish. Um, to Andrew, we'll talk later. We just got that message from him. Um. Hey, That's maybe it. by season end I'll have ten. I'll have won a prize. <laughs> You're gonna get there. I don't know how you haven't won yet, Susie. I swear. Right. We keep talking about it. Uh, the tomorrow people. I knew mm. someone who did, but I. Oh no, I did. Isn't that the one with the people who can like teleport ish kind of stuff? Oh, is that kind of along the lines of heroes? Because if so, was, I don't know if it I was. No but they were like that. a race of people who were like hunted down because they were different and had oh, powers. Wow. See, I couldn't stomach the, government. the new heroes episode or seasons. Uh, uh, they were not that great. That, that the, the reborn. One was it was. Bad. I mean, it wasn't worse than season four though. It's just good to the storyline and action every episode. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have to check that out. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, for you, Sai, Tomorrow People is actually good. I heard pretty good things about it. It's only had, like, two or three seasons so far, right? And then I, it's it's a very, like, double agent in a world where your people are hunted down kind of thing, which is fine. Um, 
Thanks everybody who's liked the video, by the way, and shared it. Uh, we yeah, really guys, appreciate we're getting all so it. much participation tonight. Oh yeah, tonight's seen everything. Guys, so great, and I think it's a lot uh, for because of the group, which I believe was probably Sai's idea or Deeks. It was. It was definitely so someone, guys whoever's idea. idea that was. Thank, thank you. you. It's been great, and uh, we've been sharing. I've been sharing memes all week. Yep. Those are the memes I make for the page, I and I try to. I've been trying to share them before I share them in the. Regular page regular so that page. we can get a little bit of like group stuff going. Uh, season flashpoint style. Stranger I, Things season two is soon. Yes, it is. What is that in June? Actually, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's coming in pretty soon. As far as the season uh, flashpoint style reboot, I don't know, man. That's why I've uh, been tentative. What? I've been tentative to watch the show because of that. You know what uh, I mean? That's the whole thing. He's already been playing around with timelines so much. Why are they waiting until a whole other side? Although that I love what they're doing with the Flashpoint Reverse in oh, Fifty Two yeah. with 52 with uh, with Reverse Flash. If you guys haven't seen it, Reverse Flash, Eobar Thawne is black in the comic books. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a spoiler, but it's like well, everyone's Thawne, always coming back. It's amazing Thawne's coming back. Oh, he's such a good villain. He is. He's honestly one of the better crazy villains of his time. Yeah, gotta say. Oh man, it's it's, so, it's going so well with all these different comic books too. Like DC's doing strong. Here's the thing: DC's doing a very strong like all together showing, mm -hmm. and, and Marvel's doing in a lot of popping around. They really are, and they're disappointing fans in a lot of things. I hate that a lot of people were trying to blame it on diversity. When let's be realistic, most of the people hate Marvel right now because of Hydra Cat. Exactly. Freaking Hydra Cat. And then the, and you're, making, have that. you're making another Civil War when we already... Civil, Civil War 1 was War good, was but you've done it. Big things are coming for Kid Flash. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Especially after he's the coming back into the timeline and the whole thing with mm -hmm. Abracadabra. You know, it's a huge it's a huge spike for him. Like I said, with the Marvel, they're, the problem is they're pursuing old timeline. They're pursuing old ideas while making... Bad choices while changing whatever. their it's classic like, characters. It's okay to introduce new diversity, but don't change Cap to Hydra Cap. Right. Nobody wants a Hydra Cap. Yeah, too many crossovers, t a little bit. But even more than that, like I said, why are, why are we getting all the superheroes fighting each other? We've done that. Exactly. They need to bring Shazam in, but their problem is they want to bring him in as Captain Marvel, but they still don't have the rights to that. Which I learned is because it's so funny why that is. It's DC's fault. Oh, the He's, whole thing about that. Yeah, Shazam, like, like wow. how could you even keep up with Contest of Champions? Oh, yeah. That's true. That's, I, I tried. But the thing is, that one's supposed to be, like, the new battle world. AVX, AVI, I know. The thing is, they've been several years apart, but like yes, you said, Susie, we're redoing No more musical episodes. No. Seriously, I no watched one them. It. Civil War 2, like you said, DH, why are they repeating all the same ideas you don't repeat ideas to get great. And generations. Secret, the Secret Wars was different though than the other Secret Wars. That was a totally different. I like the. Concept. I like the name because the, Secret it was Wars. called Secret Wars, but basically it was a, a universe yeah, rebirth. It was the a, original Secret Wars is way different than this one. It was a rebirth. Secret Wars was good. The problem being, like you said, we keep. We keep nice. doing. Uh, we keep doing these ideas that have been done, like. The, I liked Civil War 2 for a little, but then it was the same idea same thing. and the same kind of the resolution exact where same resolution. they're still doing the same bullcrap. They just oh, okay. resurrected yeah, the shield. Yeah, we're just the same. Yeah, it's like, come Secret on. War is the best visual comic I've read. It is it's great. So good. Great comic. And even the classic or the new one are both astounding series. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of the series that shows one of the Hulk's strongest feats. And feet. Civil War was great as well. Did you read the article on diversity kill? Marvel yeah, stuff? we read it. It yeah, was, and eh. it, it was, it was actually more of like a. It was more of a. Re first of all, it was. That. First of all, it was, it was in a Republican. When you go and find the source material, it's from like a Republican thing, and they didn't actually say that. They said, with our branching out into new uh, topics, etc., etc., we are seeing less, less returns. returns. That doesn't mean it's uh, a race thing. They're gonna do another crossover in Ultimates, yeah. They shouldn't, but they're gonna. The thing is, the problem, the thing is, and what I like is Marvel does well is their universal continuity crossovers. The problem is they need new ideas. 
They're doing the same universal continuity crossovers that have made them popular, but using the same ideas, and we know... We don't want Civil War 2 to end up like yeah, Civil what? War 1 yeah, again. Yeah, like, can I have a different outcome? Or a right. different... Like, what's different, is Civil War 3 coming? I don't a want different that. debate, and, yeah. like, the thing that ended up happening with um, Ulysses or whatever, he wasn't even a major character by the he, end of it Yeah, all. by the end of it, he didn't matter. He didn't I heard they were making a Civil War 2, but Kendall... Jenner was in a Pepsi and everything it was okay. Oh, wow. That's funny. I have them painted one hardcover with all front of the comments. The thing is, they were decent series, but the, the ideas have been played out. We've seen them. They were done better the first time. Exactly. With the exception, I do like IVX a little better than AVX because it was a little bit more of a... A like oh the it was it was like a, a civil thing but then they also messed up the end as much as I like the beginning of the series the end of the series is very anticlimactic very it, there's a, there's a lot of parts like the whole part about the original cast getting away it's like oh they take the siege perilous and it randomly trans or somebody I don't remember man I have it's just I don't know man I really like it. But at the same time, they need to up their game. We're tired of the same old stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why I actually enjoy the new Thor. Why? Because it's not doing the not same doing crap, the same crap, crap as the old Thor. And he, I he love left that. Earth. He, I love She left Earth Thor. and went to Asgard and then went to space. Now she's space fairy. Space there. Uh... It's just we need new stuff from Marvel, we just and we want to see some new main lines because like the character lines are. That's pretty the other different. thing. Where's like, like I want to see where's Captain America or not not uh, America Chavez, but Captain America. You know, or what is her name? Miss America. Miss America. Miss, Miss America. Marvel I want to call her Marvel. Captain America, but I know that that yeah, ends up being a different person afterwards. Yeah. Miss America. I think. Miss America. I think you're right. Yep. Uh, but Miss America, I want to see her series. Like she's an awesome she's character. She's awesome right well, now. I didn't really uh, like it at first. But Ultimates I do now. too. Oh yeah, especially after her stand on Civil War Two, I I much more enjoyed the character, and I was like, mm -hmm. because she's such a powerful character, powerful she has character. to be discerning. Same with Black, uh, not Black, Blue Marvel. Blue oh my Marvel. God, he's like so. He's powerful. amazing. Where's his thing? Where's the new Century series? Marvel like, needs to step where, it up. Quit staying in the comfort zone. Oh yeah, exactly. they need to bring back Fantastic Four in a way, in a better way. And re I want the Silver Surfer back. I don't want Fantastic, Fantastic Four, Four again. No, nope. they're right where they need to be. Leave them a couple more years. Yeah, because Ooh. they've been messing up on. Here's all the fronts. thing: uh, develop some of the newer characters. Yeah, on all the, the all Fantastic fronts. Four just needs to step out of the limelight for a little bit. Even the comic book stuff of the Future Society and. The stuff with Johnny Storm and the and Doom, it's like we're past that. Doom's a hero now. If the Fantastic Four come back, he's not going to be a hero anymore. I guarantee you. Even if just because they mess no, with him. No, he's not. Even now, the whole They're arc gonna right now. They're going to write that off. Yeah, we'll see. I like it. I like that being the big... Leave them where they're at. Like, I like mm -hmm. the Fantastic Four, but... Leave them just... You know who I like better? The Maker. I'll enjoy the new idea of the evil Reed Richards way better than the other evil than than regular. Reed I like Richards. Franklin Richards, dude. Oh, dude, th and he's too powerful though. He and that's is. why I want. I want. <laughs> he is I want way a new, powerful. I want a new century series, but I want to see him evolve into like a cosmic being, and then that's how you mm -hmm. write him away. Mm -hmm. Then exactly. he's the century, and he's basically the same as any other Marvel cosmic being. You know what I mean? And then you have because he's, he's coming up on a little bit too much. Dude, I told for me. you he's fighting <laughs> Celestial the time last time he showed up. The newer characters need more development. Moon Girl is awesome. Yes, Moon Girl and uh, De Devil Dinosaur. That's gonna be a series. With here's Squirrel my only Girl thing about up. here's my only thing about it. And there was the one post that was the new that Luna Lafayette, which is Moon Girl, is the new smartest character in Marvel. But they never gave a decent reason. They like she solved the Terrigen problem. That makes her smarter than Reed Richards. Reed Richards was never around for the Terrigen problem. Exactly, he was written off. Uh, besides that, I think she probably is smarter. Like she made Forge look like an idiot, but everyone does that to Forge. Sorry, Forge ha isn't smart. He just no. knows how to make stuff. He even says in the IVX comics, he's like, I never, I don't understand how these work. I just can put them together. Put them together, yeah. Uh, I missed some of Izzy's comments. How about more of the Collector? Would love to see a little bit more of Collector, but... Mm, it's all right with he's that. He's too powerful again. It's like, all right, I saw him in the Immortal Thor, or in the Unworthy Thor. I'm good. That's what I want to see is the new War Thor that's coming out in the comics. Mm, yeah. Who wants to see from the War Thor? I mean, honestly. Squirrel you... Girl Shore was something is the new buzz. Yeah, there's, there's going to be I a hate Squirrel, Squirrel Girl. Girl show. There's going to be a show. You know uh, that? No, it's a new Warrior show. It's not a Squirrel Girl show, apparently. Oh, okay. Good. I, I heard from... What's Izzy, up, Andrew? 
Isn't is uh, Izzy might back me up on that because he was sent the thing. Was it a Squirrel Girl show? I thought it was a New Warriors show. I thought it was a Squirrel Girl. It but dude, be. come on! I what is hate up with her power. She, here's the thing: is they it never some kind of probability she's lazy, manipulation. Right? Does she have luck? They lazily write her, and she just does whatever she wants. There, people are like, she she beats people clever. off screen half the time. Yeah, hate. Yes, yeah, Squirrel Girl. Oh See, my I god. You. I'm I'm boycotting the Squirrel Girl. I literally am not gonna watch it. I don't care how good you guys tell I, me. I'm it is. saying guys I like hate Squirrel the Girl so much. She beats people off panel. She's being Thanos and Wolverine off, off panel. panel. Off panel. Did you see Chris Evans talk about his contract being up? Good poker face on his future is gonna be. I think. Thing is, he honestly, if he leaves now, he could do anything he wants. Yeah. New Warriors, but she is joining them. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Izzy. I was gonna have a freaking aneurysm. It's okay to have her as part of things. That's fine. I'm fine with more female power in the a Marvel Universe. Girl is How about Spectrum? Overpowered. How about America Chavez, Miss America, who's These one of the most powerful, powerful characters? Even Captain Marvel can have a little bit more involvement. Yeah, where's... I don't know. She's Carol Danvers is very alive, ultimate. But ultimate there, there are... Yeah, I agree she's, that she's we need more female right power, which is why I did watch and like Jessica Jones more, because by the end of the series, she was a power, powerful character. Yeah, by Maybe. the end... She she had gotten over self doubt and she'd made the choices that made and that her means her season two which is coming along is gonna be good yeah I heard they're shooting them great awesome they're shooting on scene we do need more female power but like I said can I get someone better than Squirrel Girl Squirrel Girl one of my in my opinion it's one just, of the worst it's characters it's literally ever. Marvel satire so they're like almost making fun of people like I said it's just such a joke to me and they never explain it it's like oh she has all the powers of a squirrel so she can jump around and eat nuts okay awesome. Like, I like can catch a squirrel like, with my bare hands. Like, like I, I can hit a, a squirrel with a rock. Like I had seen in a video, I think she has a and I've done that. That's why I say that. Like she's got. That's what they say. She has to have some luck. Mani- she basically like has. Like luck. Luck. She basically has plot armor. Yeah, she just does. She has the luck of the draw, and then she beats everybody. Like she said, any other, any other powerful. What about Storm? What about? She's a storm goddess. Is amazingly a goddess. powerful. Like, can we get a lot more storm? Freeform, so it'd be aimed towards kids of comedy. I'd like to see that fourth, fourth wall, wall plot, plot armor. armor. Yeah, yep. Toon Force. Ah, that's the only thing I can think of because there's it's no like way Deadpool. It's, anything it's like, else. can you see past the fourth wall? Otherwise, there's just no way. Like, it's like they always talk about like, okay, Batman beats Superman with Superman <laughs> doesn't beat Sentry though. No, goodness. That was really good. It's like, come on, man. Guys, we saw this guy who who uh, had posted Superman. We should still Sentry, do that but, that eh, comeback we post. We, 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 should, we should do the comeback video, man. Yeah, because it's, century, it's the so century wrong. The century is, is in. Love Storm, she is needed. Robert Downey Jr. leaves. Iron Man stop, like I said. Yeah, if, if I heard... Why would you continue? Here's the thing. If you get a new actor, what new idea? Like I said, what's the new idea that's going to bring them in and remind them of the old idea? Because that's the other problem is now you're, and a good way to do that would be to have, is to have the prior characters cameo. Yeah, exactly. That's you gotta have to some cameos. That, that is the way on. to make the transition. That'd for, be awesome. Um, I love how Hugh Jackman's gonna pop up as Hugh Jackman. And that's yeah. awesome, yeah, dude. Dude, but that and that's his freedom too because he owns his own personage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and obviously, Deadpool breaks the fourth wall anyway and can say, "Hey, look, it's Wolverine." You could literally say that. What because we say about? Uh, I think we need Riri. Riri. I I agree. And here's the thing: like they, but what are we gonna do? We need new ideas for the new Iron Man fresh concept. ideas because we we've played out Robert Downey Jr. Or at least he's played out Robert. You know what I mean? Robert Downey Jr. has played played his, out. Played he, his he, hit he's out. Just, he's not liking it anymore. He's done, he's and it's fine. Well, after a time, you know, you get tired. Yeah, and it's fine. It's time to move on. Like, like I said, seventeen years for Jack. Seven. He's a, he would stay. He's like I. I'm good. We'd be down to stay. <laughs> he did say that, and that's water, cool. guys. But it is cool, dude. I mean, it's literally what you want. It is. And, oh, man, it's doing so good, by the way, tonight. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, but who... The thing is, there's so many great characters besides that that deserve shows, and it's just like... I, the only thing I will say is that the moral Squirrel Girl teaches are good. Yeah. Her character personage, but I just hate her as a character so much. I... Like, give me a reason. Like, what if she was had the superpowers of a squirrel? You know, then I might be a little more like, 
ten thousand times the strength of a man, or yeah, or something like or, that. Or but Night Thrasher would be great to see. I've yeah, heard. that would be awesome. Here's the thing, though: like the the skateboard superheroes are so nineties. Yeah, so nineties, Date, outdated a little. They'd have to get a little reboot or something. Just, well, my thing is, how are they going to do a grav board, the lar- uh, an anti mag yeah, board? Are they going to have him on the side of walls? Like how they do it is important. His comic died, though. Yeah, he just wasn't that popular. He like that, that concept is a 90s concept. Mm, I see what you mean. mean. We need to bring more superheroes that aren't as well known. Agree, Jordan. Yeah, they need and, to and expand then, on some of these And here's the heroes. thing. The problem, and here's my problem. A lot of people have a problem, and this is, this is the change in diversity that I think is affecting Marvel, is with changing the past status of current characters. For example, and I have no problem with Iceman being gay, but the revelation that after 50 years, now, now Iceman is gay, it's that just is like, nowhere. can we get a new character Dramatic who changes. is gay Iron and has Man? to deal with being gay and being a superhero and being a good example of that? Exactly. Like, can I get... No, we're just going to lazily strap it onto a character who hasn't seen a lot of hype lately, right. and so we can get him more hype. I mean, Hoverboard, dude. if she could teleport in squirrel form. Even, you know, it's something, man. Like, something like that, you know? Dude, I mean, it's seriously, like, think about it. Iron Man's origin changed dramatically mm-hmm. recently. And also... I mean, for the most part. It still was basically the same, except for the fact that it modernized it, obviously. Thing. That, yeah, okay, that's that's what you mean, yeah. That's yeah, true. It was like, uh, but they changed that even earlier. Like, that's not super recent, as in it's, it's been done recent, over the but years. Like, geez, and not doing, only they not doing only, stuff like that more often now. Right, and the thing is, like I said, they're bigger deals. Like I said, you know, to suddenly make Iceman gay after 40 years, even though he's been about telepaths and, you know, suddenly this past version of Iceman is gay, and now his current version is like, oh, I would hit it from ever from the telepaths and the... Which is weird. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, whereas it's a little more believable it'll be like, oh yeah, some rich people adopted a kid because their kid died. Yeah, it's a little more believable. A little more believable, first of all, but even then, I also feel like it's... that That's a thing, but it's a little bit less. If she could teleport in is it form? Is Lex Luthor gay? I don't know. I've no, never heard I that. didn't think he was. Maybe? I, I've never heard I that. Didn't maybe hear that. If somebody can maybe the actor is she talking about? I don't think so either. Though. Not Eisenberg. I don't. Think. I don't think the original actor for the actor. Smallville one either. I don't. I just don't know. I mean, if you can find me, some, I just never heard that. Yeah, I've never heard that. Uh, before. I'm trying to think of, but there are gay characters. Hulkling and Wicked. Hulkling and Wiccan were have been around for like six or seven Wicked, years yeah. now. They're they're a gay couple, literally, and have been pretty much since their creation. Mm-hmm. You know, like, they're great examples, too. Like, they're great heroes and have been on, like, the new Avengers. And, and the it's young always Avengers been that way that. for them, though. These new characters, like, the fact that it just came out with Bobby after that many Like I said, years. and the difference being, like, all right, now it's, I don't know. It's not the same as, I don't know. Maybe I'm, and I obviously don't have as much perspective because I'm not gay, but, you know... And if we could get some, it was just like out of nowhere. On. Like it was just like what the hell? No, not the actor likes himself. I don't know. Maybe maybe you are. I don't know, Susie. Like like I said, if you, you can find know. some evidence of that and let us know, it'd be a great factoid to throw on the channel. Yeah, we don't. We're not really sure. Exactly. Um, oh man, that's that's wow. great. Man, there's so much coming up. It's just like insane. Oh, there's like this new Marvel video game that's coming up that's oh. almost themed like Diablo. I, think. I heard, yeah. yeah. Like Marvel Action Heroes, I think is what it's Something called. Something about that. They have a um, lot of small stuff. Closed beta is coming out. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Check it out. See what happens. The Contest of Champions has been going good. They're the little online. Yeah, one. it has. They have a lot of characters. I'm going to research. Awesome. Yeah, let us know, Susie. The April Fool's thing that Rosenbaum was Silver Surfer. I did see that. There were a ton <laughs> of great... Uh, but once again, you know what wasn't... Uh, April Fool's joke. Nugga lugga dug. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Szechuan sauce, man. Szechuan sauce. Get that Szechuan sauce. Get it sauce. back. All I want is that move on nugget sauce. Nine seasons more. 97 more years of Comic Convos. 97 more episodes of Comic Convos, guys, until we get the Szechuan sauce. We're getting we it. We have to get it. Oh, we that. have to get the Szechuan sauce. It's so good. Okay, well, let's do a movie with Ultimate Avengers with Wasp for Mighty Avengers with Miss Marvel and Daredevil. We could do that. 
I'd like to see the Daredevil, Ultimate Daredevil, I don't know. I just I like want to keep him in Defenders. I don't know if I want to cross him over. The, the thing films. is, he does cross over, though. And they even talk about, like, in the comics, when they dra- cap drafts Daredevil. If any, if any of them, him. He would be the be- the one. That I don't know, Iron Fist. Luke Cage was actually the first, well... Luke Cage, yeah, that would be cool. So you would want the MCU to cross over with the Defenders? Only, like, small, though, not like... Oh, okay, yeah. Just like just I like said, like tiny little things, like, small. oh, this episode we have freaking Luke Thor Cage. just popped up. Or, yeah, yeah, like, like Thor boom. popped up, or, oh, look, it's Black Widow. <laughs> that would be or, awesome. Or even better, the, the mentioning we talked about is too dark. Yeah, Ultimate is way too dark. The whole Wasp and the Blob thing and Giant Man. Thoughts on a Hulk movie, yay or nay? No, nope. he can't hold his own movie, guys. They keep trying, and it's he's not a relatable character. No one's a rage monster all the time. Nobody, you can't. You'd be dead. Yeah, I mean, he's. It's just not a relatable story, and people can't really relate to it. The two, the other two, yes, some of the acting was good, but it was just like, and it wasn't. And here's the thing: we're, what are, what's the story we tell for the Hulk? Exactly. Besides his origin story, which they keep doing. Yeah, they try and fail, and like I like the Hulk, but I just don't see him doing another one. I think he's best suited in these side roles where he can be built up as a character. Exactly. Maybe Planet Hulk and Thor movie, though. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's going to be good. I, like I said, I think it's time to give up with the Hulk unless maybe he gets enough attraction and character from the next t- movie or two. Yeah, and he's just too powerful a character. We talk about that, how powerful characters like Thor and the, and the Hulk just can't always be around like they even the, like the sentry is one of those characters yeah like, i mean in civil war it's like if, in civil war if anybody had hulk or thor it's a rap yeah that, that's why they were written out he's not made to be a standalone character no he's no, really not. He's it, not even his original character while it does function on its own he his he's always with rick jones he's always with somebody yep. like for the most part there's so the few Wolverine times where popped Barry. up in his comics yeah right away main yeah role, like right, right away, away. Hey. Yeah, and got his own comic real soon after that. Like, he, he at least movie-wise, I just don't think he makes a good standalone. Like, he's a... Cinematically, it's, nah. Some some characters just don't, though. Like, yeah, like... And people are like, Hawkeye and, and Scarlet Witch. Yeah, like, Witch, I just like, don't see uh, it. Or, excuse me, They Hawkeye would be much and, better uh, in a TV show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Really. Or, like, a short a short movie series. You know what I mean? Like, a short... Yeah, like a chop like, 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 four episodes of... 35 minutes or right, right. Minutes. Like Black Widow Love that. and Hawkeye. Boom. Or like when they do the specials pieces. on like, have you seen the animated specials? Yeah, do that. Do animated that. Animated specials. Something. The Hulk, Hulk versus Godzilla. Godzilla. Hulk smashes. Yeah, Hulk will be Godzilla. I'm sorry. He threw Fing Fang Foom to the moon. And if we're, th- <laughs> wow, yeah. Yeah. That, that alone. I'm Literally like, threw him to like the moon. Planet Hulk. Oh, no. Oh, it's a rap. Yeah. World War Hulk. Rap. Like that's, that's one of the strongest versions shown to, well, that's the thing. The Sentry only loses when he wants to lose. We've talked about that. Yep. It's like, why World War wishes. Hulk beat Sentry after he said, please beat me, I can't control myself. Yeah, he has to be beaten. Yeah, it's just like, the Sentry's broken. And the Hulk, too, is like, how do you fight him? He, he just sent... Oh, they, he, ha, he works on the same dynamic as Superman. It's just and strong, right? He's just invulnerable. I hope if they do a Doctor Strange too, though, they need to make him as a powerful Budapest as he movie. Still is. hasn't been announced. That would be cool, like a Budapest side story. Hulk would destroy Godzilla without even much effort. Yeah, yeah. like ridiculous. You could knock him out, throw him to the moon. Jeez, man, the Hulk's intense, dude. Godzilla two in the twenty seventeen style, revamped and much more powerful. Yeah, it's still baby. Like I said, Fing Fang Foom is like a size of an entire of New York, supposedly or something. He's huge. Exactly. And He's basically as big Godzilla. as that Godzilla, and breathes fire, and does a bunch of other. Oh, he has like acid spit or something. Like Fing Fang Foom is basically the equivalent of Godzilla in the King Kong God as well. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. just like they just he would just smack him around. Exactly, that make him mad. Just let me have my damn dream, okay, Susie? Okay. <laughs> God, Godzilla, maybe you know Godzilla does have his flame breath, but really, I mean, I feel like. Like, just in our personal opinions, maybe if they vamp, you know, Mechagodzilla, now Mechagodzilla is not as good as regular Godzilla, so. Maybe three Godzillas. Maybe three Godzillas. Look at the Iron Man, you know, he got. Well, like I said, it's just like from from the thing, but like, we'll let you dream your dreams, Susie. We won't, we we don't want to. That's just our personal opinion from what we've seen. Your Hulk. Oh, smashing my dream. Aww. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry, Susie. 
Oh god, and she's had to look like she's got to go through like two more minutes of that from that comment. Right? <laughs> yeah, oh man, sorry. I am so sorry, Susie. Like, we really don't mean to smash your dreams. Uh, this this episode's going well though. Thank you guys so much for yeah, the comments for and the, the comments, interaction guys. and the amazing sharing. Amazing tonight. Um, We're hitting about three hundred comments. Gee, that's definitely our most. I think that it already most. notified us of that a while back. Uh, and we still got the prize giveaway, as we said. We've I don't know if we have to show them right now, do we? Yeah, we might as well. We, well, we, yeah, we'll do it now. That because <laughs> we'll then do we don't have to. More. We don't have to do it at the end of the show then. Independent right comics now. guys, and we'll go ahead and you know one ran one random winner. No, yeah. two. Excuse me, three random winners. Well, we'll have we'll get a copy we'll have, of these. Three three random winners will get a copy of that, and then we'll also be auctioning off the. Two comics from last week that didn't. That did. We're not auctioning off, but giving away. Sorry. Did Except it. your opinion is. <laughs> it's okay, DH. That's how I feel about everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I gotta laugh off screen sometimes. It's too much. But there's a lot of like debates in here and there that are like. Right. You, like you said, it's yeah. all, often because you know what version of the Hulk are we talking about is very important. Yeah, I mean, Although if we're most... talking about original Hulk, even he would pretty much dust Godzilla off. But uh, in my opinion, yep, in our opinion, wow, we're at eleven viewers. Guys. Thanks, guys, thank so you. much, and thank you for everyone who shared. It was awesome. Amazing. Um, yeah. Guys. Having speak Godzilla about Godzilla, are we ready for the Godzilla King Kong crossover? Oh yeah, I definitely am. I am so so. You can saw King Kong. I have not seen it, but I just have heard good things, and I think is everybody. That's why I'm asking. Is like, is everybody ready for the idea at least? Yeah, because I think it's coming. Like, it, it's definitely coming. Um, I just hope they do that. it right. Oh yeah, see, I knew Susie would be excited for that. Monster movie, Susie. Uh huh. My Monster dream movie. movie. All Hulks, in my opinion, even Gray Hulk, even Gray Hulk. What about uh, Bruce Banner Hulk though? Like the one with Bruce Banner's uh, mind. Uh, mentally. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't remember his feats as Bruce Banner. I just know he has vastly reduced strength. Yeah, because he's aware. Yeah, you know, he's smart. Yeah. So, but, you know. He's still powerful. He is. Maybe more so because he's smart. Same. Strategic. Ah, oh, jeez. Comics this week. Maybe drop a little bit of knowledge on the gun. Baby Hulk? I don't know if there <laughs> are any Baby Hulks. Even Baby Hulk is like Scar. Granted, that Scar has the old power, too. So. Yeah. Scar's a little special. She-Hulk? She I don't know. She's pretty badass. Yeah, she can beat some ass. Let's introduce She-Hulk. Oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah she's yeah, awesome! She's actually Jennifer really Jennifer Walters, great. also one of the first characters to break the uh, fourth wall. Yeah, she used to tell her character... Totally. her She used to tell her artist to draw her better and give her better stuff. Banner Hulk, yeah, fought Maestro, lost, but, you know... I've, a lot of people lose against it now, but I think I do remember that one now where he goes to the future and, then and the, the Mestro breaks the his spine, right? Uh, Is that the one I still DH? don't think I would be down for a Hulk. I just... Hey, Patty Suitsell. Hey, thanks Patty. for Patty. Or Patty. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, it's Patty. Is it? Okay. Can they do a movie with all the Hulks? Probably not to get the rights. The thing is, it's the same thing about the Batman series and why I'm trep I'm kind of afraid for the Nightwing movie. Is like you haven't introduced these characters. These characters they have no solids. All. They have no. So you're gonna backbone. have to like. Usually, you have a whole movie to introduce a character. So that means maybe Nightwing's gonna slide in in this new Batman movie. But but that's the thing. Even side like. And that's because Batman a... doesn't need another origin. Like let's be honest. No, we don't need another Batman. Oh, but right, how are you gonna have him slide in? When he's already slid in in Batman versus Superman. I mean, that's all. Kinda well, was dead. Is being dead? If that's the yeah, reference exactly. you're like, mentioning, slide through, but slide through that man. I know. Like, but, uh, we, yes, we my astro origin. Batman. Okay, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. DH. So that it's was like doing a movie Hulk. with okay. all the Batmans. So is the Norton yeah. Hulk oh, the current man. Hulk's official story or not? Nah? Uh, was the Norton Hulk the second one? I think the Hulk's official story is still the original of being, you know, uh, b bombarded by a a bomb mm -hmm. that he made. A big bomb. Yep. I think uh, Marvel would do more. Universal didn't own some rights. Okay, yeah, Universal. Yeah. We were didn't just think about that. Nightwing earlier. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about it is, like, I like Nightwing as a character. Dick Grayson is one of my favorite characters. Oh, ever. absolutely! I love Nightwing as a character. But Great like I said, I'm great. afraid. Like, how are they gonna make his own movie without the proper introductions? Even side characters like Black Widow and Hawkeye had like two movies to show up before Avengers. Yeah. 
You just have to sneak him in. I mean Avengers Hulk. I don't know what his one's based on. If they don't really go into too Yeah, much they don't talk about it, and, it, and that's why I say they hair. haven't done... Like, maybe if they do his movie, they can do a origin story, but they've just kind I of... I need old Teen Titans back. <laughs> I agree, but I like uh, the new the Teen new Titans for what it is. On me, yeah. Well, for what it is, it's supposed to be a funny, stupid kid show. It's it not is. supposed it's to not be It's not this... supposed to be Teen Titans. No, like, it's... I'm sorry, the old Teen Titans, they're never going to bring it back... First of all, hey, Young Justice though, I, that well, is coming back, and that, that is was, that's back. better in my opinion than Teen Titans. Like, I think for what it is though, it's yeah, a more it serious, it's a more serious, it's a more Justice League. Yes, yeah, the cross basically yeah. between Teen Titans and Justice, Justice League. League yep. Um, it would be Avengers Hulk. Yeah, Avengers Hulk is Norton Hulk. Okay. Oh. So that's the Hulk you were talking. So that's what, so that one's still from the Gamma Ray. Uh, right? Isn't that Norton Hulk? Because that's the, the second Avengers Hulk. No, wait, what's the first one? I don't know. No, no, okay, no they're talking it's been about... awesome as usual. Love all comments. Yeah, you have, have a great, great one. night. Thanks Happy, for being thanks. able to join yeah, in. And hopefully you'll win tonight. If not, I mean, it's just the luck of the draw. But <laughs> Susie, I really do hope you win. You've we been really here do. all yeah, the time. Yeah, we hope you're you always win. Coming. I mean, you're always no offense to everybody else. Norton Hulk is Universal Hulk. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. 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 And that's probably why they changed his origin story, too. Because that's probably. the Hulk with the Gamma Ray bombardment. Mm-hmm. Uh, origin as opposed to the original, I think. Uh, I'm not in. Uh, in I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna assume. See, you can't wait. Superboy is good. Yeah, season three of Young of Young Justice is gonna be amazing. Yes. I can't wait for it. Um, I like I said, w- and Flash, Mark, he might come back. I mean, oh, that's, Wally, that's just comic book thing though. That's like, is that even a surprise? He came back in. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like, everyone comes back, bro. Yeah. Even Barry came back. Barry is and was, except for, like, Uncle Ben and Batman's parents, the longest standing death in comic book history. You're right, because Wally. And they brought him back in re- in New 52. Mm-hmm. Brought him back. They brought him back. You're right. Ugh. It's sticky. I mean, do they bring him back in this new season? I mean, he didn't... Technically, we didn't see him actually like die. Or yeah, anything. so like, they he could disappear. Easy, here's like, the thing: he could easily come back, and that's what I'm saying. We, but it happens all the time. And are you going to make? Fury is in the Norton Hulk, Norton Hulk movie. He is. Yeah, he is. He shows up at the end of that one and goes into. Uh, that's actually the start of the MC the movies. Is the, the not the Hulk, but the ending of the Hulk apparently mm-hmm. the very end. Where they and that's because Iron Man came out very soon after that. We talked about that. Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Not, well, maybe not that super soon, but it was pretty soon. Two years later, I think. Um, actually, what time is it? Teen Titans Go could be a little more serious. You yeah, know what? but it's and not made. The new, that. the new Teen Titans just came out. Ooh, the Judas contract. The Judas contract. I saw the post with the Kevin Smith tag. Ooh, Did you see that? No, so, that Kevin Smith makes that? a cameo in. What? Yep. In it? Yeah, Beast Boy even mentions him. That's awesome. That's he even talked about. It, he's like, that's what I never thought that they would actually, like, to even get a cameo or something like you did right. for Star Wars that's to get a line, but awesome. to get actually mentioned and be like, that's crazy, dude. And he is the the Kevin Smith is like a pop culture media. Icon. Not, I almost want to say icon, but more of like a personality. Yeah, a personality. He is an sure. icon for his like, but more so Silent Bob is an icon. Yeah, yeah, because but that's just because an icon, right, is yeah, a betrayal as opposed to who he is actually. Mm-hmm. They need to stop changing Hulk actors. That's true. Don't want to offend. It's fine. People get offended. They'll get over it. Yeah. When you actually start hurting someone's when it's problem. But yeah, guys. I mean, we're getting kind of to our closing point here, almost. Yeah. If you guys have any topics you wanted to cover specifically, if not, uh, I was gonna do some basic ley lines of what's going on comics Comics, since we didn't. I guess we can do our. We haven't done it in a while, but we can go to our uh, actual thing and do some of our because we we usually talk so long we forget about these. Mm -hmm. Um. So let's do upcoming series. Uh, We got a couple. Uh. Inhumans and X Men Prime, yeah, as well as X Men Blue and Gold. Uh, X Men Blue looking pretty good. The and rest of them, I'm like, what about Weapon X? New Weapon oh, X. Oh yeah, I forgot about Dude, that. It's got it's got freaking Sabretooth, Old Man Logan, Lady Deathstrike, and like wow. I can't remember who else, but it's got a ton of great great people. 
Norton didn't do press for Hulk. Had a run-in with Universal. I had. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's it happens. It is. <laughs> it is. Uh, and Power Rangers Aftermath is pretty cool coming. We've also are seeing the end of the Justice League Power Rangers stuff coming up pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's gonna get to its end. Darth see. Maul's building up right yeah, now. Yeah, new Darth Maul. Darth Vader is gonna get a new series. Mm-hmm. Uh, where he's yeah, he gets another. All right, do you guys think he needs a standalone movie? He needs yes. a yep. No, it's the same. Movie. Vader standalone. I think Vader oh, no. deserves. Thing is, like, have we seen enough of Vader? No, we never saw enough of Vader. Vader Not was a always. Vader. We such saw a, enough of Anakin and Luke, but never a Vader. There's never been enough Vader. I have to read Inhumans Prime still. Yeah, I I've read the uh, X Men Prime one still and haven't gotten the Hydra Caps line. Oh, Secret Empire is coming up, guys, and it's going to be terrible. If you yeah, have, have you like, caught up on the, Have you caught up on all the Hydra Cap crap? No, oh, man. dude. I don't, I, I, yeah, I'm just disappointed. With, <laughs> I'm dude, disappointed he starts like Hydra murdering Cap, people man. and shit. The Maul versus Obi Wan rematch, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, oh, Star Wars. What's that show called? Uh, Legends. 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 No, 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 no. Isn't it a little animation? What, what is the name of that show? No, 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 no. Secrets or something. Secret. <laughs> Too much for my mystery behind. Too much mis. Oh, the thing about Vader is that if you read the books and the comic, some of the old comic stuff. You'll understand that Vader is always just fighting the Emperor from behind the scenes and yeah, trying not to get is. caught, he's and that's always, like Vader's. They're, they're always clashing heads. But I so not man. He's just I I am in art because I he's just such don't a like bad Hydra villain. Cap. I'm like no, I just had such a good view of Captain America. Like, like why? Really like Hydra the, Cap. It's so. I know bad. it's because the cube is still. I know, but like, it's uh, so much. It's like like I said, you're corrupting it. a classic character, and like that's the problem. The problem isn't that. Marvel branched out into its diversity. Its problem is it's shitting on its mainstays. It is. Like, first the Fantastic Four is gone, which, that's okay on itself because they needed to take a break, but then the X-Men are getting crapped on just all over the map. Uh, sorry, I almost... Then you've got the whole Inhumans thing. They're also getting crapped on. You don't think about it like that, but they are now yeah, because now are. the Terrigen Mists are gone. Rebels, it's Rebels. Star Wars Rebels, sorry, Star not Wars Legends. Rebels, yeah, I, Legends I, is the time reference to the timeline prior to the new movies, or the the lines that aren't the new movie lines. But mm -hmm. they're just shitting on all their mainstays, like even Tony Stark, even, like, tell me that Charles Xavier's been gone now for how long? I mean, like, we have so lost long. the heart of a lot of our... Uh, Marvel pillars, like, a lot of them. Thor... Everybody's been torn down, and that's I, the I real problem. I love where they're taking a worthy Thor. I like that, but but, that's but like I said, you can't tear down those. all the pillars Tearing at once. Tearing them all down, like man. you're telling all the pillars down and expecting these new shows to hold the or these new co pri properties to hold the weight and by the themselves. The only thing that's doing okay is Spider Man right now. Even then, like even some of that stuff because it's paired with Deadpool is like. The other thing they did, like, the reboot of the old, like, uh, the Peter Parker, and it's basically, like, original Spider-Man stories retold. Mm -hmm. It's like, we've done them, we've done them, we've done them, we've done them. Can I get more Miles Morales? Like, or can or I get another Spider-Verse? Spider can we, we get Spider-Verse so many Verse characters stuff? in the Spider-Verse. The same with Deadpool and Spider-Man stuff. Like, I like it, but they're so interactive in... Not only their combo series, but in their in individual their series. Ones. Yeah, and Deadpool their... pops up all the time. Spider Man pops up. We don't need to see more of that. Like I said, like you can't. <sighs> There's a lot to read too. Yeah, there is. Right? Writers just want to make new things. It's hard to keep years of history. I think. I know about making yeah, new things, but it. breaking down old characters is the problem. Like it's okay you don't for destroy, one or two. Yeah, you like don't gotta and in these and characters. in and in. And in, uh, I forget, Original Sin, they did it to a lot of characters. But then they kept doing it now with Cap, and they kept doing it now And I feel like they're doing these things, and they're not really focusing on... The yeah, you've, you're you're going to fall behind. That's why I do the subscriptions, DH, and do the Marvel yeah, Unlimited. Yeah, do the Marvel Unlimited. Because then, okay. even though I'm a little farther behind, it's... Comicsology too. Comicsology is good for DC. Stuff. Marvel Comics... Comes out, out with, too, with much. too much, too. Yeah, yeah. They do. Not they only that, so now much. the prices are... Are skyrocketing and I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't do that, man. Like that's no, too much. Cannot. Cannot. Like, cannot. Will not. I love them, but I'll write my own comic book for that much money. Jeez, which I want to do. I've actually been talking with Izzy about. Uh, hopefully, maybe we'll talk more about it tomorrow. Doing some gaming stuff, actually, or a gaming system. <laughs> um, do we uh, do we have any classics you want to recommend? Um, what were the classics I had written down? I swear I had some. Let's see. 
No, nothing this week on the on the thing. Uh, as far as me personally, I'll throw out classics. Shoot, these Planet Hulk, the Planet Hulk and World War. Yeah, Hulk are those two are classics. Super now. good classic sagas, guys. If you haven't checked those ones out, not just the characters you mentioned, Cyclops, Xavier, everyone's changing. Yeah. Oh man, Logan. Logan. Yep, they are not Wolverine. Yep, I and I'm all right a little bit with some of them. Like I said, the Wolverine was done beautifully, but you can't just do all of it. Yeah, they, you can't justify those prices. Yeah, he's like, they tried to justify it with this, but he's like, he's right, they're bull, though. But now they've stretched, like I said, they're stretching themselves thin on every front, and they need to... I like to... X-23 as well, but X-23 they broke is fine. Wolverine down. Even and they're not really that... spotlighting X-23. Here's what. Here's my problem. Spider-Man the classic, Spider-Man I'll, classic. Uh, I'll recommend is the Spider-Man Batman crossover. Yeah, crossover, I was is... just about to get into that, dude. Uh, no what way. What is that one called? Secret? No. Secret? No, I don't know what it's called, but I know it was great when you I'm said the link. It. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. Spider-Man, Batman crossover. It's amazing. Check that one out, dude. That was a 90s one, right? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, definitely 90s. a mi- 90s. Disordered over. Minds. Disordered Minds. And it's, uh, it's awesome. a great one to check out, Darius. Uh, what price is we talking? I don't read. They're too expensive. Don't buy them. Uh, they're like don't. three. F- they're minimum like four, four, maximum. Four, s- five, six dollars yeah. a pop. I paid five for An these issue. ones. issue. Yeah, it's not even funny. I don't like X-23, too, and Old Man Logan. Oh, you like them? They, they, they aren't Wolverine. Yeah, they, they're not. They're, but that's the whole point. It's, and here's the thing. It's okay to get wo- rid of Wolverine, even if just for a while at least. But not everybody $3.99, the so they are for it. But that's too much. Yeah, the DC four, four are offering two ninety nine with digital downloads. Or maybe it's three ninety nine with digital downloads. It's but it's, yeah, it's just too much, man. Like, I understand, but they need to get their shit together. Um, but yeah, classics, that's one of the good ones is Spider-Man. Uh, I... And this is for people who are always doing the Marvel versus DC crossover fights. Please read J- Justice League versus Avengers, Avengers and Marvel uh, versus DC. Are they fan voted? Doesn't matter. They're they're not mainstream continuity for either universe. They're but not it's canon. the only example of cross universe fighting we have. So that's basically your canon. It's amazing. For cross universe I mean, fights. like I'll be honest, some of them are great. Some of them you might not agree with, but that's kind of where it came down I have to. A comic shop near me and digital download will cost a lot. That's bogus. Well, hey, That's DH, so... we're going to send you a comic, my man. Like I said, hopefully we'll send you one with the, the win. Yeah. We're going to do the drawings right after this like we always do. And on Monday, or tomorrow, we'll announce it on the page and in the group. So, guys. The tangible pieces of art is not the same as the digital. I mean, it's true. The the art is always better than the digital DL. But if, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I was about Superman versus Century. We talked about Sentry. this. It has to be Sentry. Absolutely. It has to if be. If you don't know about Sentry, go look up more of his stats. His original intro is a ridiculous amount of power. He is described as having the power of a million, a million exploding, exploding suns. suns. A million exploding suns, guys. Like, this guy is just destructive beyond reason. And if he becomes his alternate mental state, the void, mm-hmm. it's like basically uncapped power. He could do he, whatever he even wants. Even that, like his powers include self-resurrection. Oh, yep, self was. Where, Where would you recommend, you recommend if I started? If I, I would start with either Spider-Man or... Some Spider-Man. Um, only a million. Power Man and Iron Fist are awesome. Tyler's just like, only a million. Only a million. Yeah, yeah uh, that's uh, Power, Fist and I- or Power Man and Iron Fist are awesome. Um, I would also Marvel recommend... Marvel Ultimate, uh, yeah. Or he's just saying where to find us. Oh, yeah, Marvel stuff. Ultimate is awesome. But, um, yeah, I would say and Fantastic Four is a good one as well. Um, the, some of the older stuff. Some of the newer stuff you might want to check is okay. out is... Uh, you, House the, of M is awesome. House of M. A lot of the Avengers stuff... Oh, the, the thing is, Marvel does really great events. Yeah, they do. They do great events. Look up events. Dark Reign, look up, and then look up the comics in those series. Those are where you should start because their stories are spread out across... Across different, and lines. that's one of the things that might also affect Marvel. Like, uh, yeah, the Ultimates are pretty awesome. That's that's a good place to start. Yeah. Um, Blue Marvel is one of my favorites. The Century is a great comic to to read, even if just to get the scope. Like I said, it, the, the Century is just a ridiculously BS character. Like he's written oh to be God, overpowered. He is. He's written to basically. They even talk about Iron Man. Talks about it. He basically has any power he wants. When he thinks of it, if he needs the power to fly, he has the power, has to, the fly. power to fly. He wants the power to be strong. He has the power to be he as strong. Can as wish he wants. Superman is dead and just kill him. He has, re- or yeah, he has molecules reality. to just destroy. Yeah, him. he he can control reality things bad. at a molecular level and demolecularize. 
Yeah. I'll start with the Infinity Gauntlet cross. That's a that's great a one great too. One. The Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet, Gauntlet. Uh, Secret Wars, the original Secret Wars. New Nova, Wars. New yep, Nova that's is a great great. one. Annihilation Conquest. Annihilation Conquest. Uh, the original <laughs> Onslaught Saga. The original Onslaught Saga. U.S. Avengers. Yeah, free I like it, but it's just too much. App right? Store. I feel like it's too late. Like watching the last Harry Potter without seeing the rest. My LCD can't handle that. The thing is. It's one of those things that it wouldn't matter when yeah, you started. When you started or what you You're started, never going to keep up. You yeah. could start today and still not keep up. When Since the new Avengers movies is on it, yeah. Yeah. They are. But, the, yeah, the Sentry has self-resurrection powers. Can self-resurrection... Crazy. Or can, can He's done it three times now. You yeah. Said, right? He can... Yeah, three or more. Is done Maybe even more, yeah. I think so. He has self-temporalization, which means you can't... Even the Flash couldn't go back in time and make it so the Sentry never became the Sentry. He would still exist. That's how powerful this character is. He's self temporal And it's sad that he actually just took some wrong... Too many good stories. The Sentry. It'll look into it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, he's like a drug addict. <laughs> the Sentry's like the, the world's strongest superhero. He's like, do you have some heroin? Because that would be great right now. Ah, that would be great. I'd like some heroin, sir. I'm the Sentry. I will be... The superhero. <laughs> the serum. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Like, never be afraid to get started, Cy. And they say, we'll send you one. Yeah, we'll point. We got tons stuff, of them. You know, once, um, if we get away, the real problem is shipping. <laughs> to you guys is a lot. Oh, man, we didn't know how much. But it's fine. It's okay. We do what we show. can. It is. And actually, the comic books are cheap. It's the shirts that cost. Um, I'm trying to think, but... I think for the most part we've covered it. I mean, uh, we could do some quotes. Um, yeah, if you'd like. Maybe some facts. I'll do one of the facts the, that I told you earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, during the Marvel vs. DC crossover, uh, Gambit and Wolverine steal the Batmobile. What? That's yep. awesome. <laughs> uh, and as for a quote, uh, I think I'll take one from Hawkeye. It was, it was, it's a bit of a... Uh, you know, word, not a word for word. Hmm. But he says that the reason he uses arrows nowadays is that they're like handwritten letters in an age of text messages. Wow. An arrow really says, from me to you, with love. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Marvel does a good job now to get new readers or better the old way with 100 run issues? Mm, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily even the 100 run issue thing because I... I never read more than a hundred uh, yeah. issues. I still like. I had well, so much trouble. Shoot, okay, that's amazing. Spider Man. I that's being the exception. That's true. And I have, but like that's that's not never stopped me from reading a series or never like that's some true, of my yeah. favorite series are like twenty five issues long. Don't, don't quote. Yeah, it's a very good one. And it's funny <laughs> because people don't know this, but Hawkeye is superhumanly accurate with anything. Anything. Anything, anything he throws. Any projectile throw. is going to be like pinpoint. They talk about it. In the Ultimate Universe, he kills people with his fingernails. Jeez. Yeah. Which is crazy. The Deadpool Ghost Rider thing I posted in the groups. But, oh, the that one's pretty cool. The Punisher also has a similar one. And then Daredevil is actually mm -hmm. also immune because he's blind. Yep. <laughs> I was <laughs> like that one. It's like, yeah, why is Daredevil immune? I can't see it. <laughs> Which was actually established really early on, because I think wasn't uh, I think Ghost Rider was actually introduced as like a villain. It's a villain for Daredevil. For Daredevil. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I might be wrong. I am, often am. Um, Many overviews, those quotes, facts, verses. I mean, let's do. I did a verses with Century and Superman. Yeah, let me um, let me see if I can think of a decent one. And it, and there's there's always like, how, all right, how about this one? Kang versus the Flash. Because that takes out Flash's ability to just go out back in time and take care of it. Because no. Tank is master of time. Because that's one of Flash's most crazy Craziest powers. Don't beats. get me wrong. The infinite mass punch in the... Although even arguably Kang has technology from throughout the entirety, the entirety of time. time yeah. uh, the entirety of space time. They talk, they talk about that in the new Avengers thing. They're trying to take uh, down Kang for once. And What do you guys think? Master of time or... Speed. Master, of speed. Master of Speed. I don't know, man. I I think I might still give it to the Flash because Kang is often bested, but mm -hmm. I don't think anyone ever really beats Kang. Like he's the master of time. He just goes back. You know what I mean? Like yeah, even right. when it's the like Avengers at the end of the day, Kang, did you actually beat him, or did he, he just go back to the future and, and, and uh, relatively you didn't do anything? I refuse to answer. <laughs> That's a good one, DH. I just don't know for that one because it's not Master of Time. 
I might have to agree. Cause yeah, because it's like so hard, you know, you got to almost wait. Although both the of argument, physics, although the argument, wise. right. The thing about Kang is if Kang is about time, then theoretically it becomes a, ti- a time fight. Mm-hmm. And while Flash can travel through time, Kang is, master. yeah, he's not a master of time. Hmm. Interesting. So Kang could go back to the beginning of the universe and destroy the Speed Force. He could even go back and destroy Flash, I mean, like, theoretically. Well, yeah, but that Flash, we've talked about that, how Reverse Flash and Flash still can... That's true. Yep. Because of their unique, unique spot powers. in the timeline. Like, it's a very hard one. I mean, people talk about Kang coming to the MCU after Thanos is beat. That's true. That's how strong Kang that is. That's awesome. Because Kang is ri- ridiculously just future tech. Not only that, the Master of Time knows all of the past, the past and, the, and future. the future. So it's Kang, like all the stuff not only that has that, happened, is happening, and is going to happen. Not like only everything. that, Kang exists in like five places in time at once. He's Kang the Conqueror, Immortus. Serious? Yeah, he's Immortus as the same character, Kid Iron Man, Kid Kang. Kid uh, Iron Man. Yeah, they, uh, young Iron Man. is. It was a Kang the Conqueror wow. who came back and doesn't want to be Kang. Kang is everywhere. Yeah, for they talk real. about it just now in the Avengers. The new, the most recent incarnation is like trying to fight Kang's time empire, and basically that's what it is. He's like the leader of a time empire throughout time and space. It it's said serious? that by the end of the universe, Kang conquers ah, everything. Kang, Kang takes it, man. If he could be five places at the time, information is five seconds ahead of Barry. Five seconds behind him at the same speed. At the same time, this is the Flash we're talking about. Like, he's done amazing things. He's beat the Infinite Crisis and the Anti-Monitor. Got it. Time, y'all. I mean, it's hard, though. Like you said, I have to almost argue for the Flash because he he helped beat the Anti-Monitor. Who is, like, basically an anti-god. I mean... I, I, it's just an argument. He helped. Yeah, okay, fine, he helped. That, alright, we'll, we'll leave it as a tentative king. Because it tended, like, in one scene, Kang, you you remember, I can't remember his name, uh, Equinox. Mm -hmm. The character Equinox, who is basically right side Iceman, left side Human Human Torch. Human Torch, yeah, he's like... He brings an infinite amount of Equinoxes, basically. They just keep popping up to fight the Avengers. Like, it starts with one, and then he just keeps bringing up Equinoxes. Are you serious? Yeah, and uh, he just does that. You know, it's funny, though. Miles Morales ends up beating the situation. Really? Yeah, what he does is he he attacks one of his uh, comrades, or seemingly, he, like, hits him with some webs, Mm -hmm. and then um, he punches a random Equinox, so, like, all the, uh, the rest of them kind of fall down. Or disappear, and they're like, what? How'd that happen? He's like, only one Equinox was from this time. So, when he was surprised at me attacking my own comrade, I knew he was the original Equinox, so you'd knock out that Equinox, and the rest of the Equinox are never there to fight. Jeez. That's time insane, travel. Dude. Secret Wars Franklin was the only thing at the end of time. Jeez, Jeez. that's true. Secret Wars Frank. That's true. But that's because he beat Kang, and I mean, he's one of the only ones. Please just check out the reverse flash scene from this week's Legends. You won't be disappointed. Wow. I'll have to I'll check have it out. Check that it sounds out then. Yeah. I think, though, we're, uh, we're going to close up. It's been our about our two hours. Yeah. Maybe one day we'll do a three hour cast, but. Uh, yeah. Wow, for, guys. Oh, two hours. So many So viewers, many comments, guys. so many so views. Many Thank you guys so much, Cy and DH and everybody. Thanks for coming out, everyone. It's Obviously. been a fabulous cast. <laughs> uh, we'll hopefully see you next week. We'll be posting the winners tomorrow. We'll be posting memes almost every day. Guys, yeah, we're going to be all on come it. to the group. Uh, we're also going to take a second to plug our personal stuff. Yep. Uh, if you want to go. Yeah, actually, uh, guys, I just post uh, published a post about Wonder Woman. We're getting prepared for the movie coming up. Uh, my blog's been getting a lot more views. I would love you guys to come back. I'm going to definitely share a link. And, uh, yeah, come come check it out. I'm going to get a YouTube channel going as well. So, Axel, I know you got some plugs. Yeah, I just uh, started. I actually just got invited to do a music video wow. for, with the uh, Colorado Art Institute. They're going to make my music video for me. Awesome. Uh, so I'm also releasing a new EP of original work. So I'm going to have that on iTunes and SoundCloud and stuff here coming up. And in addition to that, I'm doing now I'm doing live audio streams of vocal recording and a bunch of other stuff. In addition to the video streaming and the music we already I already create every week and that we release every week. Uh, and, but that's it. Uh, so we'll let you guys go uh, find Leo at uh, Leo Rydell. Go ahead and find me there and on the blurredblog.com. 
You can also find me at Axel Grave or at 3D Productions Inc. anywhere. Thank you guys so much, Jordan DH. You guys are awesome. awesome. You're totally the reason we do this. Thank you guys so night. much. Have a good night.